Going live. Greetings, everyone. My name is Sai, and welcome back to the Plundagey Boob Club. I am joined once again by my lovely co-commentator, Mr. Isaiah Christo. Isaiah, welcome to the show. It's good to be back. He lies. It's only lies with you. It's terrible to be back. None of us want to be here. This is awful, and I hate it. Well, the, the first chapter certainly will be. Yes. If, if well, the, we can get to on that. Screen wasn't any indication. Yes. Yeah. No. <laughs> By the way, this I, I deliberately didn't show him before we started. What do you, What do you think of my sensor bar on stream? It's wonderful. I'm, I I like that you left it like just barely transparent. Yes. That's that's the best part. Just, that's the best <laughs> part. <laughs> yeah. it, g it gives a great idea of what we're doing. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Oh, I love it. It's so funny. Ah. Uh. So how are you doing the day? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm doing fine. Uh, oh, see, see, Ivan, it was nice to have you <laughs> for two seconds. He's, he's at the card shop. Uh, he's like, I just imagine he's yeah. like Yugi, like in fucking Yu-Gi-Oh, like he's just helping his grandpa out at the <laughs> card shop tonight. So he can't go to the major Battle City duel. <laughs> Got to change your name to Ivan in the card shop for today. Boo, terrible joke. Oh, come on. No, we're five seconds into the stream already just sucking horribly. <laughs> like, well, like, you know, it's it's been like, it's been three weeks, so like all of my shitty jokes have like piled up. <laughs> so we have like, a backlog I, I, to get through. I, 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 I gotta get them out like rapid fire. Right, yeah, <laughs> I, absolutely. I totally understand that. Well, yeah, bye, Ivan. I'll see you guys. I'll see you later. So sad you can't be here this yeah. time. Um, Aww. yeah. So, uh, Anything interesting to discuss this week? Um, we've had two more episodes of the Plunder anime come out, right? Or three episodes, whatever the hell. Uh, like, I think two, maybe three. I don't know. I'm losing track. Me too. It's, it's, uh, been, yeah. it's, been, it's been an indeterminate amount of time since, since the last podcast. And uh, we just don't, We you know, flow of time doesn't really exist outside the boob clubs. It's very, you know, it's like larger on. Time is convoluted. So we're really not sure. Uh, this, yeah. this joke's going nowhere. Yeah, I mean, Anyways, so what has happened yeah. to the shitty anime? A anything new and interesting, terribleness to, to share with us? Uh, quite a lot. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, like, so the jail fight came out and it looked like garbage because, of course, yes, of course, um, yes. Yeah, they they took out like all the the cool shit that was that made the manga fight cool. Like, remember how I talked about like how cool their clash looked like in the manga? Like, I had that like cool like energy ring thing and like lots of cool environmental destruction wasn't i uh, seem to recall correct me if i'm wrong wasn't that the page where you were like this is like one of the most beautiful pages minizuki's ever drawn we had like a whole big talk about yes that. yeah we, we had a big thing about that and and i, I made a really big deal and then the in the anime it looks like shit. <laughs> what a see. shock yeah uh, like hang on uh let me find a, a great frame from this fight Please that do. I think really uh <laughs> okay this this one's pretty good <laughs> yes <laughs> oh, I was so excited so, so <laughs> t t take a look at that oh nice that is good here let me put on the stream there we are yeah mm, uh, delicious uh I want to point out Jail's chubby ass cheeks uh he looks like he's like they're like fucking 50 pounds overweight in this shot Oh, oh, jail, jail goes off model a lot. Here, I already found another one. Uh -huh, nice. His face. <laughs> <laughs> this one's pretty good too. Yeah. Uh, Buckina. <laughs> they, they, of, of course, like don't animate half the things his eyes like, are like, like it's like he's like crisscrossed his eyes like they're not looking in the same place like all, all the all the big like cool double page spreads from the manga they just redraw and like don't animate them yeah and they look significantly worse as you can see there mm -hmm. yeah well Where jail looks like a cartoon character well i mean he is an anime character well yes but i mean like without i don't know something about his face it's doesn't look right. I mean, yes. Yeah, it looks terrible. His face is like, it's like a blob. Like it isn't, it doesn't have like mm. muscular structure. It's like just like a, almost like a perfectly round sphere, like an oval. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Again, uh, and then episode like six. Actually, yeah, episode I, think six, I think that's, like, I think that's the point. Actually, is like his face looks like you know in Photoshop you have like the the rate stretch tool or whatever to like like yeah like yeah it looks like someone took like a normal like pro like a four by three picture and like stretched it out so now his head looks huge. Yeah. No, yeah, is is like his eyes are like puny. Yeah, yeah. It's weird. I almost want to take it into Photoshop and like make it smaller and like you know stretch it like that and see if that improves the image at all. I might, I might <laughs> open Photoshop and try that while you continue talking. For sure. Uh, and then episode six came out and it was like radically different from the manga. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Not so good. Not in ways I necessarily. Yeah, no, that's the thing. Like the changes that they made, I don't even necessarily hate i in, in some ways i actually think that they improved it mm-hmm. uh for example they took out stupid fat like rapey man uh you remember that dude who who contributed nothing well i mean he almost uh, raped hina and, well, I, I think that's a contribution or something uh, and he hina and palmo but that's that's not you know that happens to everyone in this manga it's not like that makes you a standout character mm-hmm. yeah um so they took him out which was great um, they, they made Pelmo's first plane look like a bird, which was kind of weird. But I mean, like, like we said off stream, like, I guess you wouldn't make like the, the fucking Wright brothers plane on your first try. Yeah, let, me, let me show uh, her no. bird plane on stream really quick. Here we are. The bird uh, plane. All those, all those are, I mean, the fact that the, she <laughs> like, like, I understand the idea like, oh, yeah, obviously it's not going to be perfectly aerodynamic the first time you try. The fact that she like dressed it up as a mascot, though, like gave it like little bird eyes and bird beak. And like, I think that's going into the realm of stupid. No, yeah. And then, of course, the very next plane she makes is still the Wright Brothers plane. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So she, she, she goes improves dramatically. She goes immediately, yeah, she goes immediately from fucking stupid bird <laughs> thing. <laughs> like, to mastery per- over the concept sound. of aerodynamics, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, <laughs> it's it's kind of extra stupid. Mm-hmm. Uh, then, of course, there's the wonderful derp face that they gave her that, that I showed earlier. Uh, oh, yes, this one is door. good. This one's yeah, very good. Yeah, it's it's wonderful. Yeah, uh, that's why she's plummeting to her death. By the nice, way, nice. Yeah. Well, I mean, as we know, she is unusually calm in that specific situation. <laughs> um. Oh, oh! Speaking of being unusually calm, uh-huh. uh, you got to see what they made it look like <laughs> what, what when she gets taken segue. away by the owl thing. All right, look, look what they made it look like when she gets taken away by the owl thing. Oh my <laughs> god! That's so funny. <laughs> right? It's, it's, it's like she's like relaxing in like a fucking like you know, hammock or some bullshit. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is like her for for her like forty scene. chapters. This is her death scene. Yeah, this I mean, I know the whole point scene. was that she was calm in the manga, but like this is another level, man. Yeah, and she, what the fuck's going on with her like, <laughs> boob over here? Shouldn't this like that? Why is part of her boob out? Shouldn't it be yellow? Like her shirt's covering that. I don't. Know. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to. Wait a minute, this whole thing's wrong. Like, <laughs> it took you that long to know. Well, <laughs> that's not what I mean. Like right here, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be yellow, to, like match the color of her shirt. Oh, yeah. And it's then mis- this right here mis-colored. is supposed to be the sky. But it's like a fucking four-year-old with the Photoshop paint bucket tool came in and clipped both of them skin color. But I'm pretty sure this one right here isn't attached to her skin. In it, unless she's got like a huge like Dorito piece sticking out of her fucking skin right <laughs> here. Like I don't think this upper one is supposed to be skin cut. I think it's supposed to be sky or hand or something. Why does she have a huge Dorito yeah, tit? Should be. What the fuck? I don't <laughs> I don't know. Um but yeah, they made a bunch of weird changes to the episode. I didn't necessarily hate them, aside from this. But yeah, but, this is this is a, like this is fine uh, sort of like meme template, isn't it? Like no, the dog it, in the fire that I is. used in the video. Uh, but I actually think that they're making Lick's characterization a lot more consistent. Mm-hmm. Um, by which I mean they make him a sad boy more often in the anime. Nice. Um, which, you know, I'll take it because it makes it easier to believe he's the character that he is in the second half of the manga mm-hmm. as opposed to stupid rapey Nick <laughs> Run Man. Oh my god, this works so good. <laughs> okay, I gotta, sh- I gotta fucking show this on stream and everything else and I'll send it to you. 
That's how the professionals title their fucking images. There we go. So I'll show this on stream. So there's my corrected version versus the original. Wow, there you go. Wow, what the fuck? I want to find out how fucking fat his face looks in that shot. (laughs) (laughs) I only stretched his face in Photoshop. It's all that I did to that image. It looks so much better. Well, thank you for making his face proportional. (laughs) Not making him like 200 pounds Uh, overweight. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) He looks like me. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> Apparently, can- conviction can't help you lose weight. Apparently, I'm pretty sure that's actually one of the things conviction's good for in real life, though. Like, isn't it? Like, <laughs> isn't that one of the well, actual well, as, uses of conviction? As as we know, <laughs> his conviction has no basis in reality. I suppose. Not. I can't believe I fixed this image in two seconds in Photoshop, and a fucking professional studio couldn't do the fucking same. <laughs> 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 oh yeah and I, for- I forgot to mention the next episode is just complete filler oh uh, well i mean obviously what else are you gonna do because it's the ab- it's supposed to be the abyss demon next episode right mm-hmm. uh and so instead they're they're doing a cooking contest between lynn and hina <sighs> i guess Cause... like was that in the- was that in the manga it was not no hmm I don't necessarily hate the idea of like fleshing out characters and filler episodes. I don't. I, it's probably it probably sucks, but like you know, well, I, I do like the some manga of the is like out it's, su- it's in such a fucking rush to get to the big helicopter twist in the manga that it's like nothing that gets developed at all. So I don't mind them taking more. I feel like it's expressly against their own self interest because the big helicopter part's the only reason anyone would watch that fucking bullshit show. So I feel like delaying it's only oh, yeah. hurting them. But like I'm not against the concept no, the of thing. having like more time to flesh out the characters no, no, before yeah. shit hits the fan. No, I agree. Like like I said, um, I think that Lynn has actually benefited a lot from the like slower pacing because they've given a lot more like moments to herself to like really flesh her out, mm-hmm. which I think is great. Um, and it looks like they're trying to do the same for Hina. Because um, in the preview for the cooking episode, she has the like a knife out, and she's gonna go hunting for her ingredients. So they're trying to like tie like, bridge the gap, <laughs> like fucking between. retcon that character into the yeah. rest of the show. Yeah, they're trying to ex- exactly, which which I'll you know I'll take. Yeah, it. no, it's fine. It. It's better than hitting it's new a, character in chapter twenty, like at least gradually introducing it. Exactly. Same I mean, with we Lick. still absolutely like, he's, he's, hit a new character at chapter 20 bullshit, but like, we do, at least yes. they smooth but it out a it, bit more. It's not like a switch is flipped. It's more like a gradient. Yeah. No, yeah. So, you know, I'm not, I don't hate it, but it, but for, it, in context of the rest of the anime, right? you know, it, it's not it's not like it has the manga's art to rely on. You know, if, if this was like, Say, like, it was, I don't know, Madhouse or Bones animating this, and every week, like, even if show's fucking stupid, you're getting, like, this beautiful-ass animation. Right. They'd be like, okay, well, you know, then, yeah. I, sure, I don't know why you're making the comparison you to Madhouse when you could just make the comparison to the manga, which is literally that. that that's what I was going to, yeah, yeah as well. Um, but because it doesn't have what the manga has, and, like, the show looks like shit... Um, mm-hmm. It, it really can't afford to be taking its time. Yeah, I would um, agree. Then again, then again, that I, I, you know, they probably need time to polish the CGI on the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> I am I actually legitimately I, like hyped for what the fuck the hideous as CGI helicopter monster is going to look like. Like. Right? Yeah, I, 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 I'm going to need you there with me for that at least. I might. Yeah, you might get me to do that. Yeah, because I'm, I'm also excited ready. to see I'm that monstrosity. It's going to be so terrible, and I'm going to, it's going to <laughs> look say, like a shitty version of like, like that big. heartless policy fight at the start of Kingdom Hearts One. Like, <laughs> 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 Some of the even less polygons than the PS2 game had. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I'm thrilled. I am 
It just tickled pink. As am I. Thought of that. Say, same with seeing Doan. Oh my god, I can't fucking <laughs> wait to see Doan at this show. <laughs> yeah, because at least he's on model in the manga. Like he's on he's hideous, hideous in the model. Manga, you know? But like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Oh, it's gonna be so good. I'm actually, like I said, I'm actually excited for that. <laughs> Me too. Also, I'm I'm fucking super excited for when the soundtrack comes out because the, so so there are some tracks that I genuinely like, but the fucking trumpets from the first episode just keep getting worse. Dude. <laughs> what what trump? I don't even like, remember. I, I'm so thoroughly you remember, blocked like, the, the episode scene, of my mind. The scene- <laughs> A scene where David is like all like raping Hina and he's all like, it's time for the star theft bout in the background, just like, I really don't, but I, I, I don't doubt trumpets. that it happened, but I don't remember it either. You, you, you really pointed it out when we watched it. Uh, but for like every single fight scene, they just go to like the little baby trumpet. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, like fucking jail is like giving us whole like, I am iron jail speech. And in the background, it's just like, that's funny. Yeah. Also, I feel like we should show the fight scene in that one episode. Oh, yes, please, please, please. Okay, the, the so sound let's effects. turn on okay. that. Okay, so uh, really quick, we're just, going to, we're just going to watch a 15-second clip of a fight scene between Jail and Lick from the anime, and I want you to have the knowledge that me and Isaiah have done nothing to this. This is this is what it was in the premiere in the show, okay? So here we go. <laughs> Yes, there is no music. Uh, there is nothing. They're using incredibly shitty stock sound effects. And it's just like silence. I, <laughs> As I said, like when I first sent it to you, like it's it sounds like a meme. Edit, it does. Yes, you know? it sounds like, like a shitty like, YouTube like what... video deliberately making fun of the show. No, right? Like like one of those like shit. Like, um, like Ed, Ed, and Eddie sound yeah, effects. Yeah, yeah, I'd agree. Or like, I can't believe there's no music. That's the worst part. If the sound effects were shit, fine, I don't care. But the fact that it's dead silent in the middle of this fucking action scene is insane to me! <laughs> Just the, them going back and forth slapping each it's other. It's so incredibly shit. It's so bad. I'm so happy. And also, just this. like the drawings are terrible. Like, look at this one draw. Like, I just pause on a random. Look at how terrible this draw. Look at Lick's face. Like, oh my god, what's <laughs> wrong with your fries? And if you notice on, on like the frames of like, uh, I, I was about to call him Sugata of Jail. We'll zoom in on like, he's got like his mouth hanging. He's got like his mouth hanging open for some reason. Mm -hmm. when, it, when it like doesn't like look like an expression he'd have at all. Yeah. Yeah, let's just zoom in on this fucking face right here so we can see it, like, big and red. Like, that's just a random frame I paused on. It looks fucking hideous. <laughs> <laughs> How do you make an anime this bad? I don't understand. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's geek toys. They were probably given, like, I don't no know, a bag money? of potato chips yes. by Katokawa yeah. and said to make it work. Yeah, pretty much. Like, like fucking final, yeah. And you want to know it's really funny. Oh, fuck. I, I should have. I almost forgot it. But now I, I'm glad I remembered. Um, so so just I think it was just today, too, or yesterday. Uh, an interview with the director of the anime came out, right? <laughs> director in quotation marks. But yes. Yeah. And, and, and it was about the, the fight between Licht and Jail specifically. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I <laughs> <laughs> so 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 they were asked like like what was like what has been the most challenging part mm -hmm. of like doing the anime for you and I shit you not he was just like <laughs> drawing the fight scenes is hard 
<laughs> it felt so so brutally honest. Yeah. Just like a man like, like the end of his line. Like like it is like I'm like, you know, staring off with a noose in the corner, like drawing the fight scene so hard. <laughs> I like I, I also the first thing I thought of was like the fucking Tokikaze sweatshop kids joke because I just imagine that's the staff of Geek Toys. <laughs> you just imagine five year olds like drawing a, shit. A, a yeah. dozen five year olds doing their best to draw this. <laughs> <laughs> like it's really hard. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm wondering is because I'm always positive of most of this shit is being outsourced to like Korean animation studios and Chinese animation studios and bullshit. I'm really waiting for like the fucking plunder to get delayed because of the coronavirus. Like I I feel Actually, it. I feel like it's gonna happen. The the funny it's funny that you say that, that you think that um it's being outsourced uh -huh. because uh I would agree with you if it weren't for the fact Geek Toys is the studio that other studios outsource to, as I found out recently. Right, yeah. So, yeah, so I was watching, like, an episode of Black Clover. <laughs> um, <laughs> Why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> well, I actually really enjoy the Black Clover manga. And and when... I don't know if you know much about Studio, like, Periot or Piero. I've heard the name. Um, yeah, they're, they're the Naruto studio. Um, so, so like 90% of the time their shows look like shit cause it's all outsourced, uh -huh. but then like the 10% out of the time where they get their actual animators to work uh -huh. on it, it looks like movie quality. Right. And that, and that's how they bank on, on shit. Right. Like, like uh -huh. Naruto looks like shit 90% of the time, but then they get like the hand to hand fight scenes and it looks fucking incredible. Right. Uh, Black Clover's like, Black Clover's like the same. Um, and but I, so I was, yeah, I was watching the credits to one of the things and it was like uh, subsidiary studio geek toys. And I was like, Oh, well, that explains why this episode <laughs> looks so bad. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like, I imagine like they have to be outsourcing crap because there's no way their tiny studio can handle making an entire anime. So like they have to be outsourcing crap. Like, e like even if they are usually like the port to call for that kind of stuff. Like, the fact that they are now making anime mm. implies to me that they're doing that. So, like, I was like, you know, I'm just, I'm just waiting for, like, if, if any anime is going to be delayed because of that bullshit, it's going to be Plunderer. Just because it's so crap well, and they so Well, they already had their, they already had, like, their CD launch thing, uh, like, delayed mm -hmm. because of the coronavirus. Right. So. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's either, it'll either get delayed, delayed or, like I said last time, we'll get this whole like turn into Evangel like anti Evangelion, where we start getting fucking like sketches of what it's supposed to. Or they just drop in manga images and just dub over it, <laughs> like fucking. <laughs> you, you know, which I, I, I probably think you actually be mean, better, uh, which is hilarious. Uh, yeah, to think I was gonna about. say, I, 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 I think you're being a little mean to Evangelion because I think even the marker drawings from like the final episode looked better than this. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair <laughs> all right do we do you have any more stalling to do oh or we have were, were there a couple notes from last time we wanted to bring up oh yeah uh sakina yeah uh so we realized that let's actually go to that really quick in the manga uh isaiah what uh chapter was it in i can't remember Ah, uh, jeez hold on i'm gonna have to check my mm -hmm. notes yeah um Ch ch chapter one. Is it really? I, th I thought it was in chapter 34. Are you sure it's one? Wait. I'm oh, joking. Wait, wait, if he's, wait, yes, I'm playing about. fucking whatever. Oh, yeah. Anyways, yeah. So very okay. first scene, right? Very, very first image in the fucking manga. Like it's the cover. You open the cover and then it's this. And we see like a Daedalus with Hina. And she's like, Hina, go find the aces. And then... What we realized is why the fuck is Tsukina being dragged to the abyss when she's literally at this moment holding an original ballot, which would be counteracting whatever the fuck her negative ballot is. You mean count? Or count, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, because it's it's an established rule, as we see with Licht, that uh, the only way to avoid going to the abyss with a negative count or a count of zero uh, is to be carrying a ballot. Mm-hmm. Which is what she's Which doing. Which is literally what she's doing. 10,000. Yeah. And, like... So... Uh, yeah, nothing about, like... And especially, like, 
knowing more about this manga now, like, what the fuck was Sakina Faro, a esteemed scientist, on the run with her fucking daughter and an incredibly important ballot, doing in a muddy field while it's raining outside? And what the fuck did she do that caused whatever the fuck her count is to go to zero all out here? Yeah, I wonder if we'll ever have that No, we will not, ever. Is. This is supposed to be a true... Nothing about this manga was planned in any way. This was bullshit foreshadowing that didn't mean anything until you wrote backstory for it later on. So the best we'll get is maybe some light retconning to make this sort of make sense, but there's no way this gets explained satisfactorily. Yeah. No, I didn't say satisfactory. I just said explain. Right. Well, what I love about this plot all specifically, right, is it's like it's not even something that you notice now that we've gone through 50 chapters of this bullshit. Like they establish it. Licked doesn't go to the abyss because of his count in chapter two or some shit. Right. Chapter, Cha- one, yeah, chapter the same one. Chapter one. Yeah. So literally in the first chapter. You could if you could read only chapter one and call this plot hole out. And this is like a massive plot hole that breaks the entire fucking series. And it's not like, you know, Minazuki like didn't think about it and then wrote some more rules later on that contradicted this. Like, this is all in the same the first chapter. And like the first chapter is contradicting the major event in the first chapter. And it's, it's so incredible. And I'm so surprised we didn't think about it until now. Yeah. That's the, that's the thing. I I don't know how either, to be yeah. honest. I mean, I, I and I and when I when when you've pointed it out to me, I tried like searching for some justification <laughs> in my head. But even like even trying to use bullshit logic, <laughs> I, I really, I'm pretty sure it's not logic at that point. There might, there might be another better word for it at that point. Uh, not even trying okay, even trying uh, the channel uh, nonsense. I couldn't make it work. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, no, this like, is this. I love this plot hole because it's 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 a found it's a plot hole in the foundation of the fucking narrative, and it's it's so good. And I love the that. premise. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. I love it. Yeah. Uh, what else did we have? Ships. Uh, oh yeah, the ships are the dumb. Spaceships. I can't believe that last time when we were talking about the fucking bullshit shit. I like it's that's the thing with this manga is it's so constantly bad that it's like you can't ever focus for too long on one thing or like the badness so overwhelms you that like your brain can't like wrap your mind around all the bullshit insanity at once. Um it, it, it's just like how Minazuki can't focus on one thing. You can't focus on one singular bad thing about it but either. I'm, sh- um, but like, I can't believe at, at no point in the last live stream do we ever go into like the design, like the functionality of these ships. Like, uh, hey Isaiah, like, where's the door? How do you get into one of these things? <laughs> do, do they just like do they build it around you, top. or like <laughs> <laughs> you're just stuck, or like what? It's it's <laughs> it's, it's it's like one of those uh, Lego City commercials. Like you, you just grab the pieces and you set them around. Yeah, exactly. So the, whatever driver is in there has just like been there for like the last like two hundred years or some bullshit. And just oh thank God I finally get to go do a thing. Um, <laughs> and it's like, how does this thing take off? Like, does it have wheels that like retract into it? Like, how does this thing go from sitting on the ground to flying in the air? Well, they, if you look closely at the design, uh-huh. it has two boosters on the bottom. Oh, uh-huh, yes. <laughs> that I'm sure. The, may, maybe when they start, they're up. Does it just, does right? it just like, like scrape like along a, the ground? Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. May, you know, you know Isn't how that they, a SpongeBob they look joke? Like, you're right? good. You're good. You're good. good. <laughs> like, you're good. <laughs> may, maybe when the ships start, they're like upright. You know, like, like an XCOM, like, I don't know, where you just like like launch like vertically something. up into the sky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then it just turns. Okay, okay, somehow. okay, okay. I'll, <laughs> I'll buy that. How does it land though? I don't fucking know. <laughs> 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 um, fucking. So I guess it just like crashes into the ground. Like there's nothing to land on. There's no legs. There's no nothing. <laughs> <laughs> also, how fast are these things going? Like pretty fast if they showed up all over the fucking Well, I mean, yes. <laughs> like two seconds. I mean, I mean, yes, there's that. But like the only thrust we're seeing is like 
vertically from the exhaust ports or whatever the fuck. Um, so they're they're flying like straight forward. So they got to be going insane. Like, like like we said previously, jet fighters have to go like super fucking fast to not just crash into the ground because of gravity. So like how like, but these things look like they're like moving at like, you know, like they're floating, like moving like five miles an hour. Right. Maybe that's because of the glowy things on the bottom. Maybe those are like levitate hover technology like the sonic rider shit I don't like the know. sonic like the extreme gear from sonic <laughs> riders yeah maybe it's exactly like i that. mean to be fair if you rip the fucking like rocket br- no not even if you just if you showed me a sonic character standing on top of one of those <laughs> i would buy its extreme gear <laughs> it looks like sonic shoe like fucking like this is what he would use to, like fly around <laughs> you, it actually would, it reminds me of like uh, uh what's his name what's what's the messenger of the gods Is it mercury like uh um not mercury um oh uh hermes, hermes yeah hermes, like you know it's right? like little winged booties yeah. like it's little yeah his, it reminds yeah. me because it's this got like, little, like the modern like, two day like, wings on the side and there's like a fucking shoe uh, this is the Arthur Christmas of Hermes yes, shoes. Yes, don't you dare compare anything to that in this fucking moment <laughs> of that masterpiece. Look, wh- wh- where's the fuel port? How do you, like, power this thing? Like, does it have, like, a fucking internal, like, does it have, like, a nuclear power source? Or, like, do you have to give it gas? And, like, where's the gas port? Does it have missiles uh, in it? Top. Like it's got to, right? Because otherwise, what's the fucking point? So where do the missiles come out of? Uh, no, they they're suicide bombers. They just that's why that's they don't, why need they to don't land. have to they land. They just crash into things. <laughs> yeah. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, the Japanese spirit of kamikazeing persists even three hundred years in the future. It's crazy. <laughs> So, the, why not build a missile at that point? That's the whole point of a missile, is that it suicide bombs into things, but it's faster and less stupid, and you don't kill a person <laughs> piloting it. Because a missile wouldn't look this stupid. And a missile's also aero-fucking-dynamic, okay? Like... This is insane. Missiles, look, if, if they if if they if they just shot out missiles, they wouldn't have like a cool page of, of Pele going send out the air force. Right, yeah, of course. Uh what are the those are windows along the side, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you have to look through that tiny <laughs> yeah, fucking visor. They have to look through the tiny funny, fucking yeah. visor in the thing, and it's like, what the fuck's even the point? You get the squint view. Yeah, what, and what's with the point of, like, the window wrapping around the rest of the ship? So that all the extra homies you got in the back <laughs> can, like, see it all, all the crew you picked up and then as you go to the fucking premiere. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's like they've got a window seat too, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why the fuck would a military vehicle need to be able to see out, like, the side of it? Like... <laughs> hey, Din, good to see you. Hi, Dan. How you guys doing? It's 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 so all the people in the back have a good view of like, I, well, I was gonna say of where they're going to land. <laughs> <that's what's> going <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are so dumb. Uh, oh uh, yeah, Dan. We're we're just remembering a bunch of other things to make fun yes. of before we go into this week. Yeah, no, we haven't even gotten to the new bullshit. We're just focusing on old bullshit that we've missed. I can't, I, I can't believe yeah. we didn't touch on how the fuck these things work last time. That's a, that's impressive to I me. Think we were, that there was so much other bad we that were, we didn't even question the functionality of these fucking things. Yeah, we were just too tired at the, that point. <laughs> Maybe. And I think it was also a little bit like we had we, like we had seen the ships like earlier and we'd like been hyping them up. And so when we got there, it was more like, hey, here they are, rather than actually being shocked yeah. and surprised at the thing. And so like, you know. That's true. The specialness had kind of worn off at that point. Yeah, fair enough. Anyways, those are my notes from previously. Cool. Anyway. So now... So now we can read the actual chapter. Yay! I I don't think you'll be yelling in one second when we open the fucking page. I'll I'll be yelling, just not in excitement. I'm sure. Uh, What what I love, guys, I said this to what I said before, like, before the stream started, I was like, okay, time to go fucking, like, record or write write notes for Plunderer. And this is the first page. And I'm like, oh, write this. 
Yeah. Rape. We got to uh, read rape. And it's the color page because what is taste? What even what, is what taste? Is? You're right. So I think I say you get to read this one because oh, you're no, the read, one who oh. dragged us into this crap. So I feel like this is your punishment. No, no come on. I was specifically was hoping you would read it. Nope. This is all oh. on you, buddy. No! <laughs> okay. Oh, it's so good. I love it. <sighs> Dinge says bye. <laughs> uh, no one wants uh, to be uh, here for this. All our viewers drop to zero. Yeah. <laughs> Oh God! Also, can I? Uh, I love the the edgy caption for this time, right? So it says, "A cruel assault carried out with the faces and voices of bygone friends," which, you know, would probably be more effective if we knew any of these people. Yes, and also if their faces weren't incredibly rapey and crazy. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so let's just move on from this color page already. I'm sick of looking well, at it. Well, do you want to go back to the other uh, page and like read the first bit? No, no, I, I think this is the first time. I'm fine with skipping uh -huh, it. Yeah, uh, but we get to see that she's got yeah. the, sh the Shrim and Lolicon genes being active, and that's why she's a crazy, rapey <laughs> psychopath. I, f I fucking hate that they just called the Lolicon <laughs> I said this last time. It's a fucking <laughs> quote from the manga. No, I know. Doan, Doan said it. Yes, I know. <laughs> I, 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 I guess that explains why you're a fucking asshole. It's it's your Lola Khan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, so uh, starting off with already some horrible dialogue. Okay, um, really quick. God damn, what man. the fuck? I just want to say this. What the fuck was he thinking making this the two-page color spread at the start of the fucking chapter? What the fuck was he no, thinking? Yeah, this is super, super distasteful. Uh, super fucking creepy. Uh, I remember seeing this. I felt like e even back when I was on my like, Plunder is the best manga ever uh -huh. shit. And I saw this. I was like, what the fuck, Minazuki? Yeah, this is gross. Like, this is just... Like, this is hard to look fuck? at. This is, yeah. Like, yeah. And, like and is, even from is. his perspective, like, what the fuck is the point of this? Like, it's not, I mean, I guess it is fan service to, like, a really specific demographic, but, like, this isn't being framed in the context of, like, like a rape dojin. Like, even if you get off to, like, rape dojins, like, this isn't being, this is being, like, a rape dojin is framed in the context of, like, we're doing a naughty thing, or we're doing, like, an illegal thing, but that's the fun of it. Like, this is being framed as, like, oh, man, what a tragedy. And it's, but, like, we're doing fan yeah, service right? at the same, it's, like, it's not even like, it's like, it's got tonal dissonance going on. Where like, the manga is like saying one thing and the art say another. I don't know what the fuck Minazuki wants me to feel looking no, at this. No, exactly. Yeah, like we have like this edgy caption all like, oh, a cruel assault. But she's, look at her face. Yeah, I know. Like she's having the time of her life. <laughs> Fair like, woohoo. Yeah, she, she looks like she's on a fucking theme park ride. <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid. It is so it's stupid. Horrible. Like like drool coming out of her fucking mouth. Um, yeah, we see like we can okay. see. I love that like she's bending backwards so that we can see her tits at, all at once in the same frame. Like she's got like dank and rompa eyes. Yeah, she has got dank and rompa. That's, that's a good comparison point. The more I look at this, yeah. the weirder this image gets. Like specifically, like it looks like her boobs are in her throat right here. Like, are you seeing that too? Yeah. Like she's got. Yeah, no, I know. I see what. You like do. her body is like malformed and twisted or whatever the fuck, and like her boobs is attached to her throat. Like it looks really <laughs> fucking weird. Yeah, it's, it's it's everything about this page is horrible. Yes. And, and again, like, what the fuck was um, his intention? Like, like, okay, let's pretend we're Minazuki and we're hacks and we're making a terrible fucking manga. And, <laughs> and we're like, what is our motivation to make this page? Uh, to get people to read the rest of the chapter. But how would it do that? 
because they're like, oh man, can't, <laughs> can't, can't, I can't even, I can't even joke because I feel gross saying uh-huh. it. The thought that like any person got off to this makes me really uncomfortable. It does. Yes, I agree. Yeah, and and I know that there are people out there, unfortunately. Well, I mean, and like I don't want to say unfortunately because sh- like, like yeah, I don't want to fucking here's kink shame. Here's the thing. Yeah, here's especially the, over fake cartoon here's the thing. bullshit. You know, it's, like, it's it's you know, no, 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 no. Let, let me let me let me let me reiterate. Uh-huh. Um, if whatever your kinks are, it's fine. It's fictional. No one's getting hurt from this. I don't care. If, if if you're like, damn, this is hot. But in the context of the manga, yeah, itself, that's where I'm coming from too. Uh, yeah, like if this were a doge, like an actual doge, and, and I saw this, I wouldn't blink an eye. I'd just be like, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, whatever. But it's the fact that it's but, it's but not from a doge. The story, yeah, and, and even worse, coming off of Sonohara's like only piece of character development yeah. last chapter, yeah, oh, where bonk. she finally got her like one big moment, and then this is the immediate follow up of yeah. that. Yeah, this is the immediate like, okay, you had your moment, back to getting raped. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it, 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 like I said earlier, it's the intentionality behind it. Like, I don't, like it reminds me of like when Nymph got fucking like you know like abused by Minos and SNO, and there was like the creeping feeling like, oh man, people are getting off to this, and that's like not the intention of the scene, right? Like, yeah, there's so much fucking nymph torture dojins out there that like you just know yeah. that like people are getting off to those scenes, but it's like I, I'm not uncomfortable with the idea of doshins existing and doing this i'm uncomfortable with the idea that like in sno the intention was the the show wanted you to think oh what a tragedy and to like this would be a sad moment and the like in a rape doshin the, the context would be totally different like the intentionality would be totally different um mm-hmm. so like I'm, I'm not against you know kink shaming especially for fucking bullshit cartoon characters but like the fact that the intentionality behind this is at the same time what a sad moment and also wow tits is really yeah. is what makes it uncomfortable <clears throat> you can't have both yes agreed yeah you know like either either you <clears throat> either you you like tr- treat it as like a pure fan service and like leave any like t- tragedy out of it or you you have to make you have to be like berserk or something you know where you actually like have repercussions for the actions and like don't use it as a fan service vehicle yeah that's that's another point actually is like usually like in berserk or you know what whatever whatever dark edgy show other dark fantasy um usually this would be the setup for like yeah it it reminds me of the one and only time i watched jojo's or jojo and like in the first episode there's like a cop who walks on the screen who is fat and ugly and like picks his nose and eats it and it's just like and just walks on the screen just an asshole and the whole point is setting you up for like when he gets fucking like laid out and like almost dies or i don't remember if he dies whatever the fuck but usually this would be like setting us up for like these characters are just terrible and they're also it would be doing that so that when we see them get killed or get beaten the fuck up, it feels better. But the fact that they just like that, they only knock them out after this. This is spoilers. But like the fact that they get away with just like lick knocks them out for a bit and they wake up and go back to doing other bullshit. Like the fact that they like let off the hook for this bullshit is insane to me. And not just repercussions for them, but like, d- like the fact that this has no like long lasting repercussions on Sono Hara. Yeah, no, either. she goes back to being normal at the end of the chapter. N- n- nothing about this, like, yeah. you know, I, like you know, like in real life, like I have, you know, met girls who have gone through like rape, and it like it like affects them for life. You know, like it's not a fucking thing that you walk off thirty minutes later. It like changes who you are. Yeah. And here she she just stops giving a shit at the end of the chapter, and we they never we never talk about it ever again. <clears throat> yep. God, this is so terrible. Like now, let, let's we start. Sorry, you yeah, you started ahead. like having me read this manga when this chapter was out, and like I have no clue why you would recommend this chapter to, or this manga to anyone after seeing this one single page. Hey. Shut up! Oh uh-huh, yeah, I I I was not looking forward to us getting to this page. I'll let you. I'll have you know that. I mean, for me, this okay. is a deal breaker for like the entire manga. Like, even if I liked the rest of the manga, this right here would be. This is enough to make me drop a manga I otherwise liked. I do not blame mm-hmm. you. 
Also, you've said that like eight times, so it's kind of lost its way. Still, like, this is, like, even if the rest of the plunder had been great, like, this one single image is enough for me to drop this and never look at the fucking manga again. Yes, that is perfectly valid, I'm aware. Uh-huh. Like I said, even when I was, like, on my plunders, 10 out of 10, mm-hmm. even this made me go, like, oh. <laughs> just wrap our brain in magic pad just to help with the emotional scarring. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my That's one of my favorite jokes. It's so good. There's more of it in this volume too. It's great. No, yeah, it makes a comeback yes, it in a couple of chapters. Super excited yeah. for that. Okay. Anyways, I, I will permit so us to now move, leave this page. This page. Yeah. Also yes. the chapter's called Angel. Yeah. I want to point that fucking out. Yeah, I, and we'll see why soon. <sighs> so 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 as if this wasn't like insulting enough, right? Right, so so this is already stupid. Mm-hmm. You know, they're attempting to rape her, but but how do the clones treat it? They're like, oh, there she goes again. <laughs> Good old <laughs> yada yada. There she it's, goes again. It's it's, it, it's her bully act. Like, hmm, you, you know, I remember getting, bu- I was bullied like <laughs> all the way into high school. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, I was bullied all the way until I got really tall in high school. Uh, you you want to know what I never remember happening when I got I got the shit kicked out of me all the time. Sure, mm-hmm. never once did they pull down my pants, take off my shoes, and like laugh in my face <laughs> and like ask me how how do, how we make a baby. Right? Yeah. Um. And what's what's even funnier is that this is the traumatizing thing to Soto Har. They go, she goes, oh no, bully act <laughs> because she was. <laughs> Like, like the thought of getting raped is now secondary to her mm-hmm. because she's like, oh, no, I used to get bullied. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Anything but that. I'm curious why they call it a bully uh, act. Like, is that just bad translation or? It might be. I don't know yet. It might be just there she goes being a bully again. <laughs> be a bu- what a great line of dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd like to imagine her going home to Schmerman after, and then like Schmerman like sitting at the table, like all disappointed. He's all like, "Young lady, will you- <laughs> we need to have a talk, you and I. <laughs> Go to your room. We have to have a talk <laughs> about your bully act." Yeah. Now, when I told you to kill Sonohar, I didn't tell you to bully her. <laughs> Raping is fine, <laughs> but bullying was strictly off limits. <laughs> Bullying is off the table, young lady. No dinner for a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> no healing. No bullshit. Nano healing pods for a month. Well, that's literally uh, yes, what happens I know. later. That, that was my joke. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so she pulls out a switchblade because that's what bullies do if you're she, in a fucking she's, 80s movie. Because she's Senjo Gahara. Yeah. Yeah. Attacking um, her with stationary. <laughs> and, and of course, instead because this manga like doesn't have the balls to show like anything real, instead of like, I don't know, actually cutting her up or something with it, she just like slaps her and she's like, Oh, if if you if you say something, then I'll cut you with it. Yeah. Um, that's really weak sauce. Yeah. And I'm again uh, curious why all the clones are just like fucking flat out evil. Like while they're why they're all just like giggling and laughing at this bullshit and playing along with it. Well, wait, here, here's the thing that I think is even funnier as it goes on um, is that the clones, like some of them are laughing, uh, and then some of them just kind of don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. Like, like for example, on the on the next page, uh, ponytail bitch. I can't remember her name. She's she's she's, she's uh, one. Of, I would I would think less of you if you could remember her name. She's one of the few that actually did get a name, so I feel like I should. But she doesn't. <laughs> but, you know, she's all like, "Hey, isn't this enough? We should just I don't know, kill her and bring the ballot back." Yeah. Which. Like, yes. Yeah. Yes, that is correct. Uh-huh. And, the, and the fact that Minazuki draws attention to it makes it even more insufferable. Yes, it does. Like, hey, we the, should just, the, like, the stop torturing that, her. We should, like, stop doing the James Bond villain thing where we try to kill him by, like, leaving him alone, like, with a fucking, like, laser and just, like, just gutter and grab the sword. And or like, how about, like, we let Ichinose or whoever the fuck is raping her, like, have her fun, and then one of us can just grab the sword and start walking back to Shmurma. Grab the ballot. Yeah. 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 We don't even need to stop her bullshit. We can just, like, fucking, like, just grab this. One of us can grab the sword and go do that, and she can have her fucking fun. 
But yeah, of course, like if it, we did it, that, it, the plot it, couldn't happen, so they don't. Yeah, I almost feel like it would be less insufferable if they were all like equally evil and rapey, but it's like like some of them are just like, ha ha, funny, funny rape. Yeah. And then some of the other and then the other half just stand there and don't really comment on mm-hmm. it. And then this one chick is like, hey, we shouldn't do this. This is this is unnecessary. Which makes it like like if you draw attention to the fact that it's unnecessary, it just makes me more pissed right, off. Because yeah. now I know that you're aware of yeah. it, and you just choose to do <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, reminds me. Of, um, it reminds me of the famous that guy with the glasses joke that everyone made, which is like, "Fuck you!" Yeah. Like, just because you say it's bad and stupid doesn't mean it's not bad and stupid. Like, exactly. Yeah, it's it's like in uh, fucking Duke Nukem, like uh, forever when uh, fucking like a, like a turret game, right? section. Oh God! Oh, Enough of this yeah, crap. and then they fucking. Yeah, instead of ju- instead of subverting yeah. it and like you know skipping it, they just do it anyway. Yeah. I mean, the like, correct oh, way to do that would be oh, like for Duke oh. Nukem to go fuck this and grab the turret off the thing and then yeah. like jump around space rocks with like triple jumps and crap and rockets and whatnot. But they just they go oh turret section and they just do a turret section. Yeah, or or like he's like, oh, I hate puzzles, yeah. and then he just does the puzzle yeah, exactly. anyway instead of like blowing it up. Yeah, yeah. The, the correct way to do that would just be to have him blow the puzzle up, and that would be a correct way to do that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, and it would be in character yeah. too. The specific like, example I was no, thinking of was in Spoonie's review of Tekken Blood Vengeance, which is a fucking great review. Uh, there's a bit where the main character needs to like find this chick, and she's like, "Oh man, I wish I could just bump into her like in some crabby '90s anime." Yeah, like that could ever happen, and they both bump into each other and fall down. <laughs> like, just because you can call attention to the fact that your script is bad and stupid doesn't mean it isn't bad and stupid. Yep. And spe- speaking of bad and stupid, uh-huh. I love the justification that Minazuki tries to give to her attempt at mm-hmm, rape. Right? Yeah. So like. Instead of just like having her be a mustache twirling villain, Minazuki was like, "All right, no wait, no, no, I got this. All right, there's a reason for perfect. all this that contrived was- bullshit. Yeah. You'll see." He was like, "We're we're all test tube babies, so I want to see how you make a real baby." Which is fucking stupid. It is. Well, first of all, before we get to that, I want to point out uh, this one specific line of dialogue. I mean, we spent all of these three hundred years in test tubes, right? It yeah. takes 300 years to gestate a clone? The I, fuck? I, probably not the whole 300 years. I guess they were just That's what they say. There. We spent all these 300 years, in, and then they reiterate that like two pages later. We got locked away in oh, test yeah, tubes yeah. for 300 years. So they were in tubes for the, so they were in tubes for 300 years. So that means like fucking like first of all, our present cloning technology and stuff that we actually have in reality is faster than that bullshit. And second of all, like so Schmerman must have created his evil clones like the day that Alcia started, right? Like he leaves well, he yeah, leaves I mean, behind that's... Class A in the Abyss and like fucking like five minutes later he was like, oh, I'm sad now. And then he, <laughs> just, he heads to his bullshit cloning tubes and just starts them up there. It's like, oh, well, they'll be the, he sets the timer for like 300 years. I, I like to imagine it. It's like a microwave. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Like, like he hits it. He turns the dial and, and he's to like 300 sitting. years. And like, you know, like pats his hands like, ah, oh, I can't wait. I like to imagine him like giddily like staring outside of it like just 247 more years. <laughs> 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 and fucking and then just like like fucking he like you know like drops like like uh, well I got to make sure to like put the evil genes into them. So, <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll grab my vial of evil over here and just inject it into the cloning tank. Uh, there we go. 240 milligrams of evil and that that that'll do it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, um, so so I I think this next line too. Scooby Doo villains have better motives. Yeah, lines. I agree. I, th- I think this chapter is just full of horrible lines. Uh-huh. Um, okay, so we so we get to like and 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 this I feel like this just encapsulates Minazuki's like willingness to do like edgy stuff. Uh-huh. So fucking well. Mm-hmm. So they're like, take them off as they like start removing her pants. Well, actually, hold on. And, and then, and then. You can go. 
Okay, yeah. So so evil bitch is like, hey guys, raper. <laughs> and they literally respond, don't wanna. <laughs> <laughs> because you know, the the mustache like, twirling evil guys suddenly just don't want to be evil, because that would raise our rating. So Yeah. No, yeah, and they don't even explain further. They're not they're not they're not like like, you know, you could you Yeah, could they, they've just got like no sex here. drive, like all guys do, you know. No, yeah. No, yeah. Like, I'm you not could, like, I'm, for the record, I'm not saying all guys are rape I'm saying these fucking mustache twirling were totally evil, chaotic, evil pieces, pieces of shit. Like, when presented with this opportunity, would not go like, eh, I don't feel like it. The only reason they don't do that is because it would raise the yeah. rating of the fucking manga. No, that's the thing. You know, and, and you could, like, I, like even, <laughs> even if you give them characterization, what? Daniel, oh what? no, her parachute. <laughs> That's good shit. That's so good. That is so good. <laughs> Isaiah's dying. Look at what you did, Daniel. I'm just getting over a cold, so forgive the excessive cough. Oh man. But like, you know, if, <laughs> if you wanted, <laughs> if if you wanted to have them like abstain, you 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 know you could have some actual characterization, like. But then you know that would take making them people, right? Yeah, that would know? take effort. I was gonna say like like yeah, you know, you could have a line from one of them, like, hey, you know, this is pretty fucked up. Like, you know, we shouldn't. Why are you like this? You know, fuck why are you like? Oh, I, I want to say that to, I want to ask that to yeah. Mizuki. Why are you like this? <laughs> Literally anything, but the, all their responses don't wanna. <laughs> isn't isn't it? Isn't like the famous like meme image? Like, why are you like this? And then just kid in the back, of autistic screeching. <laughs> like, look at I want that. I want Mizuki's face over that. <laughs> oh. oh. And, and 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 because the bad dialogue just can't stop. And well, it's not so much that the line is bad, but it's the implication. So so she goes like, um, "Hey, um, other clone, your power's the same as Gespence, right?" Hmm. And, and the, here's the thing that's interesting about this line: is they would know that uh, because no, yeah, exactly, because all the clones except from fucking Genji, who's just got good defense, <laughs> he's good defense, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Schmerman well, ran out of fucking aces of- to copy, and so he just like fucking like I don't fucking know this guy's defendy man. <laughs> he's he's the equivalent of the heart of their captain <laughs> planet group. Um, so yeah, here's the thing: they they all know that they have copies of the aces powers, right? But the, their whole thing was like. You know, Gispen's power is a secret. Even we don't know. So you. Oh you my think God! You're right. I didn't like, even think about that. Oh no, yeah, they would just need to go around the circle and be like, "Okay, so whose powers did you get?" <laughs> and then, and then this, oh and my then the, God! You're. The, I yeah. didn't even think about that bullshit. Yeah. So that this chick would be like, "Oh, I can read memories," and then hmm, they'd be like, "Oh, I, I guess wonder what his power is." Reading. <laughs> exactly. How did we? I can't believe I didn't think about that. Reading this twice. But oh my god, you're totally fucking right. <laughs> maybe, maybe they assume Gispense had the good defense. Yeah. They couldn't decide between the two. You know, <laughs> they were like, okay, all right. So, so either he's got the good defense or he's got the memory reading. He's got the good defense. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's good <laughs> shit. Also, the fact that like now she's doing the fucking Kirby faces in the middle of this fucking rape scene. Yeah, in the middle of the what rape. The yeah, like fuck the is the tone? Her, like, like we got to like ah, you know, the like, hi hi fucking top. in the top corner. She's like, I do want it. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, right. This is this is horrible. <laughs> it's, well, I mean, uh, yes. Also, is fucking crying yes. on the bottom. Page. Like the cut from the immediate, like Kirby, like she got yo. My power can only read memories. To fucking Did Soto Hara, like screaming. Yeah. And stuff. yeah. What the yeah. actual fuck? 
Yeah, but anyway, so so now they're like, okay, I guess we won't rape her. Let's just look in her well, memory. Really I, I didn't want to interrupt that train anyone. of thought, but I want to I want to ask like two pages beforehand. Uh, show me how babies are made. What is the fuck with this expression? Yeah. Like it's so like it deathly serious, and it's like. It doesn't, I don't understand yeah. why she would have a deathly serious tone about this stupid bullshit. No, exactly. And, and anything, and I, I hate to compare it to Chaos because she's a much better character, but like you'd think that she'd have like one of Chaos's like derp evil faces here. Yes, you know what exactly, I mean? Yeah. Like with, with her big like open, you know, something like, like that. Ayo, 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 Like fucking, yeah, like that. Yeah. Like. But no, it's, it's got like a, it's, this is like, like we have like, like this is the paint, like if, if you could imagine instead of like the, the fucking blade cut, the box cutter, she actually had like glasses in her hand and she just took off her face, like in like a dramatic reveal, like. Yeah, like, oh yeah, oh my god, I can't unsee yeah, it. Yeah, like, this looks like she's giving like an action movie line. Like, yeah, like that's <laughs> the expression you would have if you were doing that. But like, this is, I don't understand what the fuck this expression is supposed to mean in this context. It's oh god, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, god. Yeah. Also, yes, vaporweed. This manga could not be worse. You're right. This is fun. well. I mean, it could look like shit, but like other than that, yeah. I don't know. I, I, at this I'm point, sure I think the good art over this fucking rape scene is making it even worse somehow. I feel that. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like it makes it extra uncomfortable. Yeah. Because at least if it was drawn bad, I wouldn't have to look yeah. at it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But no, he's he Minizuki's so good at drawing, he's got all the shitty details in here. He got that all perfectly. Yep. Um, but anyway, they're like, haha. Oh, look, I looked in her memories. Guess what? She got bullied, and they cut to the flashback. What, what wait, 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 wait a minute. Why, why do her powers of reading minds include being able to project those memories on a fucking hologram thing? Because everyone can project things onto screens in this manga. Nana can do it when she's showing you the past. Uh -huh. A Skype bitch Aaron can do Apparent it. Apparent fucking Lee. If we didn't have... <laughs> this, if the Skype we didn't bitch have Aaron. Screens, I, like, I like that I've reduced yeah. you to that. Um. <laughs> if we didn't have screens to show things, how would other people understand? I also like how her memories are being framed like it's a fucking movie. Like they're directed like they're shots and angles and this bullshit. No, yeah, that's the thing. Like you think it'd be from her it'd eyes. It'd be first like, person, her, but yeah, no. Like, it's, it's, it's a movie. So, so Nohara, this this is from her fucking, I don't know, her drone. <laughs> her drone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's rich, right? So she, like, she brought it to school that yeah. day. She was like, oh, hey, everybody, wait, look at like, the cool drone I got. Day. And then just like fucking smacked her yeah. down. I'm like, fuck Every, you, yeah, all, all the, yeah. <laughs> oh, all the poor kids in the school are like, fuck you, My bitch. My father got killed by a drone. <laughs> I can't even afford food. Yeah, exactly. Speaking of, instead of just stealing her food because they're all starving, they decide to waste it and throw it on the ground. Yeah. Uh, and tell her to eat it. You know, you, you you think that that might would be what would happen. You know, the, you know that's how people would bully a rich girl in this world. Yeah. That they would like take things from her. You know, in, in the manga called Plunderer. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. They would that they would steal. <laughs> but instead, <laughs> but instead, they're like, "Fuck you, Sono. Fuck you and your eat food. Your food off the floor. Yeah. yeah, fuck you, rich girl. I'm like, why would her mother be? Like, like, okay, first of all, like, why the fuck is there a school in this post nuclear society? Like, why the fuck is there any kind of organization happening at this point? And like, second of all, even if there is a fucking high school in fucking like oh like like basically wasteland apocalypse bullshit. Like, why would her mother be sending her to school with food? Why would they not be more? Or why would she not have a bodyguard or like several? Why bodyguards? would she not be in private? School? Why would she not be in a private school if she's so fucking rich? Why would she not have guards? Why would she not eat food at home? Why, why, why would she, is she bring not in, the box? in? In she should be in like Sorami High, not like fucking or Sorami Private Academy instead of like. Oh, uh, wouldn't it be a cool callback if they were wearing the same uniforms they're wearing in SNO and Sorami in fucking the of uh, the rich private school? Uh, that'd, that'd be neat. Oh well. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. See, they, they, what's worse is that they draw attention to it. So fucking. They, they go, oh, you always get to eat your fill while the rest of us go hungry. It really gets on our nerves. So so eat your food off the floor instead of us taking your food if we're so hungry. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like, fuck you for having food. So you eat your dirty food off the floor. Yeah. 
Well, what you don't understand, but, Isaiah, they're evil, so it makes sense. Yes. Uh, and, of course, all the all the evil clones just think this is hilarious. Of course they do, because they see other oh, people being yeah. evil. I like how, like, there are two kinds of people in this world. There are perfect families and fucking evil pieces <laughs> yeah. of shit. And there's nothing in I, between. I, I'd like to... <laughs> I wish that the clones were, like, watching and, the, like, they... <laughs> I don't know. The, 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 just more corny commentary instead of just, like... Like, oh, that's right. You used to get bullied if they were like, hey, these guys are pretty chill. We should have cloned them too. We should have some friends. Yeah. I was like, actually getting raped in the past too. <laughs> she's not getting raped. She, she's just, they're slitting her skirt. It's a form of bullying. I don't know. I'd still call that like fucking rape. It, it's a, it, it's not rape, but it's, it's definitely a form of assault. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fine. Assault. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Um, so, so one girl, um, because this is a cartoon, uh, um, <laughs> yeah. and not the good kind of cartoon, like <laughs> SpongeBob or yeah. fucking Avatar. Yeah. This is more akin to like Korra you at know. this point. Yeah. So, so because this is a cartoon, uh, we, we have the trope of one girl pretending to be part of one of the perfect families when really she's an asshole. Yes. She's um, so the, she, the two she, 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 Yeah, she, she goes over to Sonohara and she's like, I am nice. Let's be friends. And, and Sonohara was like, why? She's like, because I want to be your friend. And, and and I find what I think is even <laughs> the dialogue is so fucking bad. So the fucking clone responds, "You had a friend." The records didn't say anything about. That. I love that. Yeah, the yeah, military I, I, war I, I, records. I, I, I made a note of that in my fucking notes. The records don't yeah. say you had a friend, and just the fucking idea yeah. that she's got a, like a permanent record or whatever the fuck that notes the friends she may or may not have had. Yeah, right. Like, like I, I, I know that like fucking early, like in a couple chapters ago when she was fighting Ichinose, Ichinose was like the records said that like you were the most useless of the barons. That's but at least, fine. Like, it's that like combat useless. or something. Like the records yeah, yeah, would like, not like, bother with whether or not. You, I just imagine the principal yeah. watching out of his room with like high powered like, binoculars. Like it looks like so. <laughs> it looks like this student's got a friend today and like writes it down. <laughs> and she yeah, wasn't like, special imagine, at this like, point Sherman. in time. So it's not like anyone would have been taking no, yeah, so, 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 so I guess the principal's taking notes about like the, the social status of literally everyone at his fucking school. And then they just got a hold of those doc those incredibly creepy documents he had. Yeah. yeah Schmerman Schmerman, after he like hired her to like be one of the aces, he was like, okay. Um, you know, for for this job interview, I'm going to need a record of all the friends, all the, you've all ever the had. friends you ever had, and don't leave anything <laughs> out. We expect this to be completely comprehensive. Uh, Wait a minute! If this yeah, was so. supposed to be completely comprehensive, then wouldn't it have been noted that this one girl pretended to be her friend in these fucking records? No, they just left If the records out, are so they, specific like, that it would list her friends, wouldn't it also list people who pretended to be her friends? <laughs> no, they don't count. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so then Dawn shows Whoever up. Whoever wrote these records the that are not grudging in <laughs> The idea of someone <laughs> just like writing <laughs> records of this bullshit. Like yeah, the, the, the fucking <laughs> vague, vague as fuck records that keep her. The idea of someone writing this bullshit <laughs> is so funny to me. It's, 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 it's they, they got him from the notes we take on Plunder. Yeah, exactly. Just write yeah. down. So, Sonohar is the worst character. She's a fucking piece of shit. Yeah. Nobody likes Sai her. Isaiah's and records don't mention anything about her having friends. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but then, but then, uh, Doki, uh, I was not Doki Kaze, Dawn beat the shit out of her. Um, I do like this page for some reason. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know what it is about it. Maybe the fact that he's holding a girl by her hair instead of her head. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I, 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 Maybe I, just, I just, for a future revelation, I want to note the size of her head in proportion to the rest of Doan's hand and how this is like semi accurately yes. portrayed. Why? Because it, it, there are worse. Well, examples. no, because later on like in this very chapter, he grabs clothing. someone by their head, by their forehead, and lifts them up by that. And his hand is the size oh, of like, his, like his, the, his hand is twice the size of his entire fucking head. Well, 
I just I want to point out the reasonably proportioned body parts here, so we can make fun of it more later when it's not. Well, also, the well, fact that, that I'm pointing out Goan's reasonably proportioned body parts is funny. <laughs> Um, but yeah, he beat the shit out of this girl, and he's all like, "You're dead if I catch you near her again." Um, so apparent. So, so another thing that I think is hilarious. Apparently, from this point on, Rahito was her only friend, um, which you know would have been really nice to see in the time travel. Yeah, no, they, 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 they share all. like more than five lines of dialogue ever. The, the only two moments that Rahito has had with Sonohara were both protecting her from Doan. Yeah. Outside of that, they didn't they didn't hang out at all. Well, it's because Sonohara and, like, doesn't have a character. No, exactly. That's the thing. Like you think that like because her whole introduction is like her like she's like oh I long to be with you after three hundred years like you know you are my commander you meant everything to me and then we cut back to the past and they barely talk to each yeah. other. Yeah. <laughs> And, and even in these flashbacks, she's just like, "Oh yeah, he was my friend." We don't we don't see it, but you know, he was there for yes, me. Yes, of course, yeah. Uh, that's why I rely on. That's him. how that works. Yeah, it's like, like if you're gonna have a time travel arc where you show them all younger, like fuck, fuck Ichi like, knows the whole fuck point these, of like, that should be characterization. characterization. And if you don't do characterization, yeah. what the fuck was the point? Like, like literally, Genji got more screen time than Sonohara in that past arc. Yes. And we and fucking you probably can't even remember which one Genji is. I cannot know. You're right. <laughs> yeah, there we what go. an accurate <laughs> prediction. Yes. <laughs> it's the dude on the next page. Um, uh, anyway, him. Okay. Fucking yeah. 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 I couldn't remember yeah, him at so all. They're all like, so so and I, he's 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 the only one that seems to have some semblance of who he was before, as I mentioned in the previous chapter. Like he defended Ichinose. And now, uh, just from taking one look at Doan bullying Sonohara, because he's such a good guy, he immediately goes, wait a second, he's not really bullying her. Uh, How the fuck can he tell that anyway. from just what's being projected on the bullshit screen? For, also, for, also from looking are at all him from these behind. flashbacks being projected on the bullshit screen? Because a lot of them don't have anything to do with each other. Like... Yeah, no, they're they're just cutting to all the Doan memories. Yeah, like now. fucking, it starts off with Sonohar getting raped, then the girl comes, and then we cut to that. Like, we cut to them like hanging out randomly, and we randomly cut from that thread onto Doan like beating her up. So at least that's like a complete story. But then we like switch over to like fucking her being alone, and then Rahito, and then Doan again beating her up, and like so all this being in canon projected on her bullshit memory screen, right? But, like, this doesn't flow together yep. properly. I guess it's because she's... No, wait, never mind. I was about to say, well, maybe it's because she's, like, like a, As about she's it, narrating, so she's, like, thinking about it. So it's on the top of her mind. Yeah, but I don't know. But but this is reading memories and not reading minds. Yeah. So, that's the thing. I don't know. Actually, anyway, that's a good point. Like, when um, she says, like, since then, I was completely ignored. Is she, like, saying that? In the present time, or are her memories narrating the scene? She, she, she is, she is saying it in the present time. You can see she responds. Why, why would she start talking? She goes the record. Why, why would she say this shit because, to the clones who are making fun of her and beating her up and raping be, her? Because, because she had to. Because she goes the record. Say you didn't have any friends. So Sonohara was like, "Yeah, I didn't have any friends." Because <laughs> <laughs> she's sad. Apparently, she needs to vent. Yeah. She needs to vent to the people attempting to rape and murder yeah, her. Yeah, maybe, maybe no then they'll else. understand and sympathize with her. Yeah. Well, clearly they do, because she goes, I've changed my mind. I'm not going to torture you to death. I'm just going to hate you. <laughs> <laughs> A lot. <laughs> and again, like, the, just the ballot is lying, like, discarded and forgotten about somewhere. And it's just like, man, maybe we should maybe, like, get yeah. that back to Schmerman. Yeah, right. So she smashes her face into a tree, and the next page makes me really uncomfortable to look at. Like this, this image of her, like with her face like bloody, as she's like barely wearing anything. Yeah. It's, also, I want to point out the sword popped back like, into existence after not appearing in the manga for the last twenty pages. It was, it, it was, it was by the tree. So after she had her face smashed into, she it, picked she, it up because that was incredibly it. important right then. Yeah. Because she get, getting her head smashed so hard made her remember what her job yes. was. 
<laughs> just fucking like she had like a brain blast yeah. it was like it's fucking like the two wires in her head <laughs> connected from her brain being knocked around by the tree it's like oh right that sword <laughs> yeah i know this image is really uncomfortable yeah. yeah like it's and it's it's it, and it's not like it's like also why is one of her legs drastically way? bigger than the other like the one that's further Failure away from the draw. camera is bigger than the one that's closer it's, to the it's camera. It's a lot thicker, yeah. I know what you mean, yeah. Um, but like you know, there's a way that you can like draw an image that's like intentionally uncomfortable. This this is not. This one. is again like and a mesh that, of fan service because this is supposed not. to be yeah because it's a mesh of fan service. Like like if you wanted to make this like a page where you like feel really bad for her, you know, like intentionally, you wouldn't like, have detailed the underwear that, that well, give her in her fucking camel. Well, toe. that, that, that as well, but also it wouldn't just be a nosebleed. Like her, her glasses would be cracked. Yeah. Why, uh, why isn't her glasses back. cracked? Besides the fact that I Minizuki mean, doesn't give a shit, but like, yeah, her glasses because should they need be cracked. To keep falling her off. Hair <laughs> so Jell can keep putting them back <laughs> on. Yes. Jell yeah, can pick them up. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, blah, blah, blah. More shitty dialogue. Uh, she tries drowning her in the lake for some reason instead of just killing her easily with her arrows that follow you forever. Yes. Um, anyway, so she's like, ah, oh, you're a dog. So do you get a dog house after you drown? <laughs> uh, bark. <laughs> bark, you stupid dog. Uh, and because like, this Minizuki, is why I'm so glad I had you read this chapter because it's like the pain and regret in your voice is delicious to listen to. Yeah, I, I, I can't, I can't even like force myself to do my usual like fucking to read through. Like even when we've had bad chapters before, I've at least tried to narrate seriously. You know, mm -hmm. I really can't. I really can't with this one. But I will say, no, never mind. No, it's 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 a cartoon. Yeah, so, <laughs> so she goes bark for me, and on the next page, Doan goes, "You bark, bitch." <laughs> 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 Which I, I I guess this is like a a fucking eighties flick now. Yeah, this is, it's supposed to be like a Schwarzenegger <laughs> line. Like remember, yeah, remember no, when exactly. I said I'd kill you la first or last? I yeah. lied. I lied. You know, fucking, I could like imagine like fucking you bark, bitch. Yeah, I could. Fucking, <laughs> <laughs> and, and 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 here's the thing. Here's the uh -huh. thing. If if this if this wasn't such a disgusting scene, this would be a fucking cool moment, mm -hmm. right? Like like say say they they weren't about to rape her and they had just like beaten her up or something, and then she was like bark for me, and he goes you bark, bitch, and like smashes her face. Then I'd be like yeah, but instead. I just watched a chick get raped for like twenty ch pages. Yes. So I'm like, ah, uh, thank God it's I over. I know, Instead right? Of like, oh yeah, yeah, exactly. Also, do you think um, it's intentional that she looks like she's covered in cum on this page? <laughs> yeah, my friend. When I showed this to my friend, why uh, would you show it to like, your friend? <laughs> What? <laughs> I mean, not this thing specifically, but my my fucking friend who reads Plunderer. Uh, he saw this. He said it looks like she got pissed on by the other. Yeah, chick. it does. Like her, yeah. her fucking upskirt is up. So yeah, um, but yeah, he smashes her face. Yeah, no, the, the evil chick is wearing like tree. bondage rope under her uniform, isn't she? Yeah, she she is. Yes. Why the fuck is she wearing a bondage rope? Because <laughs> bondage is evil. Yeah, I learned that from Fifty Shades. Fucking goddamn it! This page, like. <laughs> Doan's Doan can't there's so much wrong Doan's cool entrance is ruined by the fact that Sonohara is covered in cum and we're seeing the fucking panties of the girl he's about to beat up no yeah uh, that ruins yep. the tone uh, Doan's hand is fucking huge as it wraps around her entire <laughs> head like look at how as, big his fucking as I, hands as, are right here as I attempted as I attempted to say you gotta remember this is time skip Doan. He put all of his his level ups into that hand. Apparent strength. fucking only lots of lots of long lonely nights thinking of fucking Sonohara. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, also, where um, the fuck so did yeah. he come from? 
this is a Minizuki manga. You should know people just materialize. No, but seriously, though. No, no. Where <laughs> Sonohara Actually, is in the middle of a random fucking forest after crash landing here. So, so, where the so, fuck did he so, come so, from? Okay. So, so here's the thing. They've already said previously that Doan's been MIA since the fight with Licht, right? Uh-huh. I like to think he's just been sitting in these woods for 20 chapters. <laughs> just waiting for something and, to happen. Yeah. Waiting for something to happen because because he's close to the wall of paradise, right? So I like to imagine he's like, well, if I sit here for long enough, something will happen. Gonna come back. Yeah. Or something will happen. And he sees Sonohara getting raped. And he and he and he watches. And he's like, well, okay. he he watches from the sidelines, I, leveling up his hand size really quick. Just one last one <laughs> no, just to no, make he, sure. He was, and then now th- as, he soon, was, as, he soon as, he, as soon as he and Clone Girl <laughs> finished, now he comes in so he can grab her by the fucking head. <laughs> I, I was gonna say he he was waiting for for her to give him like a some some like a line to like work off uh-huh, of. Yeah. Like like she's like he's like listening and she like goes, You're my beloved mistress. And he's like, Oh fuck, what what can I do with yeah. that? Uh, she goes like doghouse. He's like, uh, come on, Doan, think. And she and then she goes, Bark for me. He's like, I got it. <laughs> and and it comes from and this is the best <laughs> fucking <laughs> response you could think yeah. of. Like yeah. like yeah. no you. You bark, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Cause it, and I, I'd like to imagine he thinks it's extra smart in his head because he's like called her a bitch. Right, yeah, and that's it's a like female dog. Female dog. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll show uh-huh. her. <laughs> and then he smashes her face into the tree because that's what she did to Sonohara. But he like he grinds oh, that's her face dramatic irony. Her. Yeah. How, how do you like it? Yeah. Why is her eye open? Is this is how like, I would close my eyes personally. Yeah, I will say I do like. Like the the brutalness of this, or I would if it actually did. Do we see her face see again? Later. Is it they'll just yeah. find the next time we see it? It's, I'm it's, sure it's it is. pretty. It's it, it, it's bloodied up like more than usual, but like which one is she? I can't even fucking tell which off. clone this is. Later, it's Arrow Girl. Okay, where is the next she, appearance of Arrow Girl? Yeah, it's Arrow Girl. She shows up in the next chapter when they fight. I'll we'll wait till we okay, get there. Fine. But yeah, her fa- her face is bloodied up, but like. Like her fucking skin should be peeled yeah. off after. Like that. remember that fucking clip from, from yeah. the Motogatari movie I showed you, where fucking Shinobu like fucking tears Aragi's face against the side of a wall and just is like just fucking head explodes into like a shower of guts. But now she she she's, yeah. she's got a boo boo. She's fine. Like 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 the tree, you can see chunks of it have fallen off, and it's covered in her blood. Yep. From from his fucking massive hand. His massive hand. Massive yes. <laughs> Um, but Dawn brings up the very valid point of, hey, one of your wings are still working. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and she's like, no, I can fight. No, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you suck. Pretty much. So, yeah. And she's like, why do you have to be so mean? I just want to help everyone. Uh, t- fuck. Now, you know what? This, this, you know what? This deserves Tristan voice. Yeah. Got to bring back the Tristan voice. Mm. I just... <laughs> I <can't> like... <laughs> yeah. I... Okay. Like, so, a mental image of that one, right? Like, the fucking stupid yeah. bullshit plunderer helicopter future planes trying to take off from the runaway, <laughs> and it gets, like, a foot up off the ground, and a bit, a bit of it clips the ground, and it just goes flying forward and tumbles forward, and it explodes. <laughs> that was what happened with Isaiah's Tristan voice. We got a little bit off the ground and then blew up. It's... It's it's specifically because I read the line the 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 I I can't stand just being a victim and like yeah I can't stand you just being a victim anymore either but apparently Minazuki's not fucking done with apparently you. also the fact that you just see her ass yeah. crack on this page again takes away from all yep. of this yep like you know this is the sort of like this this whole speech of her like saying I can't stand being a victim should have happened like 20 chapters ago. Or should it just not happened at all way, and we should just had her be an interesting character. That yeah, the, fair. But if you're going to have like her take the character route of like being a weakling who like resolves herself, finds her conviction and then like becomes a better fighter and a better person. Mm-hmm. Should have had this like 20 chapters ago after she got brainwashed for the third or fourth time. Right. Uh, and, and that way, when she fights 
uh, Ichinose, she's not a victim anymore because she's earned her place. But of course, Minazuki took that away from her too. Yes. Uh, so now she is stuck as a victim. Right. Yeah. Um, because she is a woman. <laughs> that was a great delivery of that because she is a woman like it's so matter of fact like obviously it makes sense because she is a woman well well for me to zuki's point but no i agree it's just i love that delivery it was great. uh and doan agrees as he says you aren't fit for the battlefield fuck off mm -hmm. And she goes, oh, I, I hate you. You're so mean. As, it, as his count goes up her... by one. Oh, because oh, she surrendered to no, him? Or, well, I was referring to Lick's count, but yeah, I guess, whatever. Oh, oh, because he said, I hate you. Yeah, exactly. You. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, My joke sucks. Yeah, she, she finally does. She finally does her fucking job. And leaves. And she takes the ballot out Thank of Thank fuck. Yeah, right? <laughs> she had one thing to do. Also, I like how the sword is the bigger than she is. Right. And then the reasonable clone from earlier, she's all like, hey, we're fucked now. And she knows is like, nah, we're not fucked. I have, I have stupid speed powers that can do anything, mm -hmm. except when they don't. Uh, and then Doan's like, hey, remember how I, how I Herm, did this? Remember what I can do? Yeah, remember, remember which one of you guys got my power, huh? Which one of the guys you know? did get his power? I I think they didn't, and, yeah. and that's why they got good defense. <laughs> <laughs> because like, because it's, it's, it's like, it's like a circle power. thing we mentioned earlier. Like it's okay, guys. You only got good defense. That's what I have. And they attack us. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. fuck, it's not good defense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that's the thing. I, I think that's exactly why they don't have Doan's powers. Because if they did, naturally in this moment. The one that did would be like, it's okay, guys, I got this. And they'd like uh, reverse his gravity uh -huh. and then use it on yeah. him because they have 500,000. Yes. And he'd be like, fuck. Yeah. But instead, uh, they gave him good defense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, he's like, I'm a hard counter to licked, guys. You can't do shit. Uh, then she goes, but I'm not Rock licked. Meat scissors. Or no, other way around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and they, they now they finally reveal their counts, and they're all like, "Hey, we we can just have whatever count we want because we took drugs. Yeah, uh, we're at five hundred thousand. We can't be compared to you." So the fact that they're all at five hundred thousand like, means the count is like artificially created, right? Yeah. Yep. So if they can artificially create a count. Why, why don't more military generals have that? Like, they've been fighting Tokikaze all this fucking time. He's been a, why, like, why don't all the military generals in Alsea just have fake counts if they can fake a count? And then why stop at 500,000? Why not go 5 million? Why not go 500 million? Why not go infinity? Because like, why make just it just barely got... stronger than Doan so that he can then win by multiplying his count? Speaking of, I actually have something <laughs> to, to critique about. Yes. That. So yeah, so yeah, Doan is all like, "Oh, full power." Well, this is plunderer, and I haven't <laughs> raised my number yet. Uh, so he raises his number. But here's the thing, right? Again, I'm imagining dubstep so with his powers. Me too, like the JoJo. <laughs> yeah. So 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 he goes. Aren't you guys forgetting something? We we legendary aces. We can raise our counts whenever we want because of killing intent. Uh -huh. But that's not exactly how the rule works. How did the rule? Do you remember work? what Nana? Do Do you remember what Nana said specifically in chapter twenty? No. So when you th when you they think I explained, remember this bullshit. Fair. So when they <laughs> explain the reason why th they can raise their counts, they said Nana said uh, it's because the aces are people who never needed like a ballot originally to have a power, right? Because they were genetically synced with the alpha. Uh -huh. So when you give them a ballot, oh yeah, it acts they're like a able to multiply yeah. it. But Doan doesn't have a have ballot. A ballot. Yeah. He's his gravity. It's just head. on his chest. Yeah. So he shouldn't be able to raise his cows. Yeah, right, yeah. That's a, that's a plot hole with like the basic structure of how the fucking aces work. Or it's a retcon or whatever the fuck you want to call yes. it. Or both. 
Yes. Like, like, yes, they have to like get controlled by killing intent, but the, the whole reason why they were able to raise it is because th- th- with a ballot, it acts as a multiplier, but he doesn't have a ballot. Well, I don't know. What was Sonohara's so ballot in the first chapter? Like, were we even consistent about it Her back robo then? arm. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. Her fair robot enough. arm. Okay, yes. No, this is bullshit. Yeah. Okay, fair. Yeah. So... Yeah, this is dumb, <laughs> and this shouldn't be able to happen. Just a little bit, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, the, apparently the reason why Dawn has never multiplied his count before is because if he does it, he'll get crushed too, because I'm just that fucking strong. Why would it work like um, that? Like, no other Baron's powers, like, turn against them and go haywire when they power up. It's, it's well, I, I can see sort of... I can see what Minizuki. Okay, no. Again, we, gonna, we can I'm see the shit he's stealing like from, but it doesn't make sense in this context. Well, no, no, let me. I'm. I'm going to. Re, no, no, no. It's not even that. I'm going to take back what I said because I don't think this is what Minazuki thought. I think this is my brain trying to write things uh-huh, for Minazuki, yeah, uh-huh. and I've gotten too used to doing <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. So how? So so if you noticed earlier, like I said. Um, I, I brought up the point like in the previous chapters um, when he was like using his powers that like I said he had to direct them if you remember uh-huh. like how he like he makes little gravity orbs appear around you and then you get heavy but here he's making like a giant gravity orb because he's increased his power that affects the entire area uh-huh. so so I assume my what my brain just automatically assumed was like oh okay because he's increasing the input and the field. He is now falling within that field, and it's not just like the little tiny directed orbs. So now he's getting crushed by his own gravity. But I don't think that's what Minazuki thought. I think Minazuki was just like, well, he's stronger. Uh, some anime characters get stronger, get hurt. So he gets hurt by his own body. Well, I mean, at that point, I ask why he doesn't place the gravity orb 50 feet away from him. And so it only affects because them they're all and around him. him. Like he specifically says he like him. he never used this before because he knows he would die no matter what he did. So it's not like it's like he can place it and then it's like increase the output. It's like no matter what he would do, the gravity would affect him now, too. Well, yeah, like I said, I don't think it was me. You know, it's, it's, like it's, it's like when you fight, it's like, you know, in Doom, you have like a shotgun and it like it hurts your enemies. And then you have the rocket launcher, which is a more powerful version of the shotgun. But if I use it against my enemies, then I'll be in the blast zone, too. But it's like, why don't you just make sure you're not near the rocket when it explodes? Why don't you just make sure the rocket goes away from you and then aim, aim it so the splash, da- splash yeah. damage doesn't hit you? God, I, I wish I was better at drawing because I would want to do a comic of like Doan with the rocket launcher now, like saying that exact thing. <laughs> <laughs> it just like aims it at the ground and yeah, it's like, 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 ah. like directly below <laughs> him and fires. Yeah. yeah, I never <laughs> use this rocket launcher because when I use it, I get hurt too. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I think it's just going to know how to use it, but okay, sure, whatever. <laughs> uh but yeah blah 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 he's like oh you're all going to hell with me and they all get crushed except for defense man who's still standing because his, his <laughs> um <laughs> so genji's good for one thing um but so genji's all like uh i get it now even if you die you intend to protect that woman from us uh and, and i love his shock face right, it's so <laughs> funny yeah yeah right like is that um, what i'm doing here he's like oh. yeah yeah like what I, I thought i was getting the ballot back to <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh but fucking genji being the brilliant man he is i know it's supposed to be that like because he feels the same way for ichi noze he's supposed to be empathetic for doan but in, but but he's like oh i thought something was off when we saw the memories when earlier. we saw those like all three different you, memories yeah, yeah fuck it. i three i different inferred memories. all this extra bullshit earlier and now yeah. my suspicions are correct not not just that but the three memories of you beating up her best friend pulling on her hair and telling her to get the fuck out of school mm-hmm. guy <laughs> from, from I those connected three, the dots. <laughs> yeah, from those three nuanced situations <laughs> i figured out you were protecting her and, and then we get the full flashback the world's greatest detective 
<laughs> be, be, we find out that, as I said earlier, the blonde chick only pretended to be a perfect family. Girl, yes, and she's actually really, a piece she of was shit. A cartoon asshole. Yes. Yeah, she's all like, ah, well, well, Sonohara is rich, so shouldn't we just take advantage of her? Would you think every kid in the school would want to do? But apparently only these three were smart enough to think about Yes, that. well, um, you say smart, but they were also dumb enough to speak this plan aloud in an open field randomly oh, for no uh, reason. that is true. <laughs> I do... I do something about the bottom panel of Dawn about to punch her. <laughs> it is, is really too. funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looks like, like a, if, if you just added like a motion blur to it, this is be like a fucking meme. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like just like fucking like you could easily make like a <laughs> meme template of this on like our slash fucking meme economy of like fucking yeah. like uh, what would it be like you know po like you know the girl be like have Poland over her face and like Nazi Germany over Dewan's face. <laughs> 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 <That's horrible. laughs> something about there's something about her face too and the fact that he's like yanking her yeah over that's, to that's him really that's really funny, funny yeah yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> also while i while i headcanon jokes for myself uh-huh. I, I also think it's funny because he goes like uh you fine with that dying while she still hates you and I like that he goes, what are you talking about? I don't remember any of that. And I'd like to think it's literal because it's been 300 fucking years. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, did I do that? I don't remember what I, I ate for lunch know. yesterday. But yeah, I guess they all just remember this bullshit like it happened a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but speaking towards the audience, he goes, I'm just a guy you love to hate <laughs> because that's. I, I guess that that's that fits with the previous line. I guess. Um, but anyway, we we unfortunately uh, the theory that the horse was Doan's parents are deconfirmed, as he says himself. Both of my parents were fine and good looking, mm-hmm. so we we'll, we'll have to bury that one under the hatchet. Um, but basically, his backstory is that he was fugly, and no one liked him because he was fucking ugly. I relate hard to that. And so is. And so his family avoided him because he was fucking ugly. <laughs> um, but but the one person who didn't care that he was fucking ugly was Sonohara because, as it's established, she's retarded. <laughs> so she, <laughs> I, I'm sure to her, Doan just looked like everyone else. Man, it's a regular Forrest um, Gump story, isn't it? So heartwarming. <laughs> yes. Uh, she's in the perfect flower field forest was ugly and then world. he met a perfect girl and they lived happily ever after and that was the whole story of that movie that's why that's, that movie, that's why that movie's really good right yeah exactly it's got a basic bitch premise like um, that like I was ugly and everyone hated me but she didn't that's why I love her but that made her an angel from heaven and and, and then to justify all of his bad treatment of her heaven's he goes, lost property how <laughs> She was truly an angel from a better manga. Oh, uh, really quick. I think Pizza's here. I'll be right back. Oh, lucky you. Entertain the audience. Okay, no. Let me see if I'm missing anything in the chat here. Could you say that Sonohara getting bullied is her cruel angel's weakness? Ugh. <laughs> uh, Ugh. Uh. This dude bleeding directly from his circulatory system. He will bleed out and die. You wish. No one dies from blood loss in this manga. Ganondorf mains be like <laughs> it's the warlock punch <laughs> when someone says they don't like garlic bread <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the fucking panel of him about to punch her is what happens when you try to out pizza the hut <laughs> oh uh, good, good to see you uh, stellar sud sem- <laughs> St- it's not going Ugh, let me try that again Good to see you, Stellar Stud Senpai Sama. Sorry, that was hard to say. Ugh. <coughs> Can't believe we're still on the first chapter. Well, yes, I can. This is the Plunder of Boob Club. Sonohar is just Hiori. Honestly! No, I might I just be I going insane. more than Hiori. There, were, there better not have been Xenoblade oh, Chronicles 2 while I was gone. I swear I'll bust a cap in your what ass. 
No, we did not talk about Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Thank God. Uh, We just made a bunch of jokes about the Doan panel. (laughs) Which one specifically? Uh, Also, uh, the one where he was about to punch the chick. Oh, yeah, that. Because (laughs) Daniel made a couple of good jokes about it. But um, Vaporweeb said Sonohara is just Hiori. And honestly, I think Sonohara might be more in suffering. Oh, no, she absolutely is. At least Hiori isn't getting raped every chapter. Yeah, and crying. yeah, I completely agree. Like, like Sonohara Hiori's is the worst. Sonohara is one of the worst characters I've ever seen in anything. Like he, Hiori is just boring and doesn't contribute anything, right. and yeah. like is an. Is and there's at least some annoying. like okay moments with her later on, like the you know the yeah, like with, with her and Nim. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, like she she's not terrible. It's just that. In a manga filled with ten out of ten girls having well, a, no, like, okay, five let's, out of let's 10 not girl. go that far. She is terrible, but like, she's like a three, and Sonohara's oh, a one. I was about to, I was about to say she's like a five or a four, but yeah, so I'm not saying she's great, but I'm saying like, especially because she's in a manga with so many other like really well fleshed out female characters, having her be so fucking milk toast. Yeah. But uh, I, I just want to reiterate like, again that, like, in a manga full of horrible characters, Sonohara is still somehow the worst one. Yes, that's that's why I'm like, saying that's Sonohara is worse. special. That's that's a highly qualified accolade right there. <clears throat> but uh, yes, uh, but anyway, continuing, blah blah blah. D- 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 Don called her an angel. He's all like, "Oh, I've I've never been loved or shown kindness. So how am I supposed to be a good person?" That's how that <laughs> works, right? That's how that works. Yeah. Um, I love but, how edgy then, fucking captions are. Uh, like, how does someone who's never known kindness learn to be kind? How, how does someone kind. who's never loved learn how to love? But here we go. So here's the big reveal, right? Because he said multiple times, you aren't fit for the battlefield, as well as this chapter. So the big reveal, he goes, with Mizuka, I can say this much. You aren't fit for the battlefield. You don't belong on a battlefield. You should be half laughing happily in a field full of flowers. So it's not that he's a sexist jerk. It's that he thinks she deserves better. Isn't that cute? No. He's still a fucking piece of yeah. shit regardless. Like, what is, no, I mean, man. society does not judge people by the, like, her. fucking, the fact that he held her by her hair and bullied her every day in fucking school because he wanted to protect her. This is not a fucking sympathetic character make, okay? That's not how you fucking do that. What are you talking about, man? That's 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 what anyone would do for someone they care oh, about. Oh, of course, yes. Like, like for example, I, I'm sure that if you wanted to save me from subjecting myself to any further of this manga, you would gladly grab me by the head and smash me into something. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you didn't do that at the start of this manga for me. We were even in the same room together and you still didn't, you fucking asshole. I guess that makes you a piece of shit because you didn't do that. Yes. But, like, you can't blame me because how would someone who's never been treated kindly by you learn how to be kind Mm. to you? You know? I I have perfect justification for my actions. Also, I have a question. Uh, But anyway. I have a question. Yes. Uh, Why is there just a field of beautiful flowers out here? This war torn nuclear apocalypse hellscape. I said that. I said that a couple minutes ago, right before you left. Oh, did you? Okay. Uh, But yes, there, there, there should. I know that they're like Isaiah. We can't grow any food. It's a real problem. I, I, I know that like their families are rich and presumably like they being the one percent they can go to like the one the field nice of flowers part of the place. world with like but that but like seeing a perfect field like you like if you wanted to like like you think this would be like contained somewhere like maybe maybe like indoors in like one of their mansion they'd have like a tiny little remaining botanical garden or something you know something contained yeah. not just like well then Doan couldn't get into it because like the servants the would beat him up or some crap. Yeah, for being ugly. Yes. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so then, for once, for fucking once, Minazuki actually sets up an appearance by someone instead of just having them appear in a double-page spread. Uh-huh. 
So, so licked like uh, replies to Doan's thoughts somehow. <laughs> <laughs> unless, unless Doan was saying this which all he, out which loud he was while he not. was killing no, himself. No, right. he replies to his thoughts. Yes, he, yes. he can read so minds like Pele now. Thoughts. Yes, uh, he goes. It's because you can't say that to Sonohara out loud. That you're such a loser, you know. Uh, well, so what a great stops. way to frame that reassuring his... comment. God, you suck, <laughs> piece of shit. Yeah. I mean, I think it kind of works for them because, like, Don's a dick to him as well. So him, no, like, no, 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 no. He tells, like, the epitome of fucking kindness and bullshit. He would not be like, God, you're a loser. <laughs> the way you said that, it's like the alone on a Friday night, Don. God, you <laughs> <laughs> uh, But anyway, so so he he stops his gravity powers. Uh, and as the clones start to rush at him, we get the earthquake. I- I- except it's not an earthquake. Well, I mean, well, I mean, yeah, it's the fucking yeah, it's it's the licked fear thing that yeah. he does that him and Schmerman both yeah. do. Yeah, which so again they like, should what? use more because it's so what? goddamn effective. Yeah, is, this, is, it, is like, it like a switch they can toggle on, there. or like, how do they how do they intentionally do this, or are they intentionally doing it? Well, I don't think it's intentional because it happened to jail even when like he wasn't in the room with Schmerman that one time. Why would they ever stop doing Sorry. it? Like, if they can't turn it off, then why would they ever stop shaking? I don't they know. Get used to it because yeah, like just it's so like, terrifying. Oh, fuck, I'm so they scared. stop completely in but, their but, tracks but then what, in fear, what, what? and they just like fucking get used to it eventually. Yeah, they, they they like sit there for a minute, and then they're like, okay. It's not so bad anymore. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's it's like just reminds yeah. me of like uh, you still feel yeah, it. Yeah, it just reminds me of uh, Soma Spider. So what? Like as the as the manga goes on, Kumiko acquires more and more fucking like passive abilities that cause her to be scarier and scarier to the point where like everything like just runs away from her and she has trouble getting food. And it's like, oh man, I wish I was I wish there was a way to switch this off. And it's like a constant problem for her. <laughs> like, I'm imagining Lit going to get groceries or whatever the fucking everyone just stopping in their tracks shaking because he's so goddamn scary. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, so it's, instead of Lick just being there, we actually like see him show up for a change, and they're all like, "Oh, someone's behind Doan." Um, and then in in this epic line from Doan, <laughs> because the 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 best. The you know when you reintroduce the hero you gotta have like a cool line right mm-hmm. so 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 Doan's like say it to her out loud spare me that crap I can't help getting tongue tied it is an odd <laughs> like so, so line like double page spread yeah, it's not cool like, at all no yeah so so for so for Lick's like badass introduction With his he's sword like finally. saying I no yeah for, for his badass reintroduction Doan basically goes. I'm too nervous to confess to a girl. I like. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> that's the line. Yeah. <laughs> that said, cool fucking page. Yeah, that's pretty. And I, and I do like that it was actually built up to for once. Granted, that shouldn't be a compliment that I'm giving the manga because that's what you should do for everything. You want to like stop and um, like take a drink of water or something? I'm fine. Or is like I'm cough fine. and get it out of your um, system like yeah, one I, big cough. I, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, like I shouldn't, I shouldn't be needing to give Minazuki that compliment because every double page spread should have some fucking build yes. up, as opposed to people just like showing up, appearing out of nowhere um, for the fifth time. Like, yeah, the the eight times he fucking <laughs> does it. Um, but I I do I I do like this this a lot. Again, if the dialogue weren't so dumb, this would be a really hype moment. Yeah, it is a pretty page. Uh, everything about it's dumb. No, it, it, yeah. Um, yeah, so blah blah blah. They're all like, Yeah, let's beat their ass, and that's the end of the chapter. Ba-da, 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 ba. A fearsome Fucking tag garbage. team. <laughs> what they got? This is a wrestling match now. Yeah, they got like an like announcement. Tag, yeah, t- tag Wait, out. We, yeah. Yeah, we we go compare that to the fucking the, the the caption at the start, the fucking a cruel assault carried out by the faces of friends. Yeah. And what is it? What do we end off with? A fearsome tag team. Yeah, exactly. Because there's no fucking tone in this bullshit. 
Yeah, so fuck this chapter. Yes, fuck this. Fuck this manga, but yes, fuck this chapter specifically. It's so terrible. This Yeah, you know, I'd say this is probably the worst one since 37. Yes, I would agree with that. At least it, at least in terms of like feeling not in terms of like stupidity, but in terms of like feeling uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Like I did this the first half of this chapter is genuinely hard to get through. Yes, yeah. The entire first half of this chapter is just fucking the, awful. The se- the second half is just fine. Like a lot of bad dialogue and like Dawn Dawn's backstory is just kind of a repeat of Pele's but worse. Well, I mean it's just fucking boring um, is the problem. Like he was he was yeah. ugly and then one day he found someone who liked him and now he likes their two. Yeah. Like at least with, with Pele's case, like I don't know. It's it's for one, they're characters that we've actually gotten to see and like expand on their relationship. Whereas like like yeah, like sure Pele like teases Lynn and like insults her, mm-hmm. but at least he doesn't like beat the shit out of her. Right. You know? Um, and we've at least seen like his his inner side like I I'll, I'll give the manga credit. Like they have like had a lot of like hints of Doan like being protective of her. Like I, I like all the times he's like just stood around like watching over her and not saying much of anything. Right. But the fact that like you repeat like the same sort of setup like two chapters later after the Pele one, which was actually pretty damn good, mm-hmm. um, it, it it just points out the weaknesses in this one even more. Right. Yeah, I'd agree. Like it's it's the exact it's the exact same setup. Like a uh, character that used to be evil betrays evil person holds tries to hold them off knowing that they're gonna die so their loved one can live uh and then someone saves them last minute yeah uh only only with pele's case it was built up to over a much longer time i'd say i like pele more than Dolan. oh you're back but continue that uh, for sure yeah um the, the shmerman was a much better like fight and like cooler antagonist than the clones were and wasn't just like a stupid rapey asshole uh this is just a worst version of chapter 50. Um, do we give any sympathy to Sonohara for a bad character? No, not really. Like, I wish she was a better character, but, like, I don't have any sympathy for her. I just, I just wish she'd either go away or become a different character entirely, basically. She's, she's just kind of insufferable, and it's uncomfortable watching bad things happen to her. And I don't like it. I did it. I've acquired pizza. Yay, he's acquired pizza. Yeah, woo! Yay! Anyways, yes, chapter bad. Chapter very fucking bad. Like you said, the worst one since 37. Since, like, racist, like, face. Yes. But it'll it'll be okay because next chapter is super inoffensive. <laughs> uh, let me just check my notes really quick. Uh, oh, where right. the fuck yeah. did Doan come from? They're in the middle of a forest, and no one expected Pele to defect except for Sonohara. It's so, like where the fuck did Doan come from? Uh, and why the we, fuck we were like licks and everyone squatting. like waiting just like right outside if they weren't expecting the fucking Pele's betrayal? Uh, Why were they like five feet away from where all this bullshit's happening? Well, I, I mean, like w- we already established that they weren't that far from the Wall of Paradise, so no, we didn't. You just said that, and then that. I didn't challenge the point. Minazuki has not established any kind of distance between this place and the fucking the state, the uh, the illusionary city geist where the fucking headquarters is. Okay, well, they're both in Misty Woods, so I assume that they were close to each other. Uh-huh, yeah, because fucking Misty Woods are very, very small and localized parts of the planet. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Doan's hands are fucking huge. Um, yeah, wouldn't the wouldn't the clones know that Doan can power up? Why are they surprised? Why does he need to explain it? Surely that would have been in the fucking file. Like... Yeah. We legendary barons can raise <laughs> our file. own counts. Like, I know, I read about it in the file. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but does he have any friends? It didn't say. <laughs> yeah. That's the real problem. I know, right? Oh, my God. Anyways, those are my notes. 
All right, cool. Yeah, let's let's move on to the next one then, because the next one is really inoffensive and just kind of enjoyable. Yeah. Well, well, we'll see. You you said yeah. I'll take it. I'll take yeah. it. Ahem. His original power has been recovered. So yeah, now that he's got his sword back and he's got most of the barons on his side, then Sherman just loses because he said that would happen, right? Like, we heard that straight from the yeah, two-headed he, he, horse's I, mouth. He, he, yeah, he, he, <laughs> yeah, he straight up admitted it to Pele. Pele was like, so if we get the ballot back, like, we're, fu- like we're fucked. And Sherman was like, yeah, yeah, you're, you're so right. So now he's got his ballot back, so there are no stakes in this fucking manga anymore. Well, it, until he invents one next year. Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Anyways, uh, but I like how like they're actually like doubting themselves right now. Like they're all beasts with five hundred thousand counts, or so they say. We can can we do this, cockroach? Like I don't know why Doan would be doubting himself at this point. Because there's like eight of them. And wait, did Doan's power do anything to any of them before he like turned the fucking volume up on it? Uh, it just like pushed them to the floor. So if he's not going all oh, out, wait, did, then like what? It wouldn't do anything. So he has to do that again, which would crush Licked, right? Yes, but no, as we'll see. Okay. Uh, so he's like, "Can we yeah. do this?" And he's like, "Of course we can." The two of us. It'll be just like old times, as we see the count of and the we sword, get the count revealed! which is a very unim- which is a very 000. unimpressive three hundred thousand. Which I actually like. I actually like that subversion. Well, no. If it was like fucking like 10, it would be an impressive subversion. It's still a bullshit big number. It's just like we've seen other bigger bullshittier it's numbers. A, it's a bull. No, but, but well, yes, I'll get that is true. But I mean, the fact that it's not just like the biggest possible bullshitty number, because I went in ex- expecting a, nothing less than a million, uh-huh. right? Uh, so the fact that it is like kind of like still within like these tier characters uh-huh. uh was at first kind of disappointing when i saw it the for the first time i was like what only three hundred thousand? but i kind of like that yeah i mean if it was just three hundred thousand, i'd be more fine with it because that would like add some stakes to the manga where it's like he's not like he has now brought himself up to everyone else's level rather than just being bullshit stronger than everyone else but he can just multiply that number, and so he is bullshit stronger than everyone else. Yes. So it does. It, yes. I don't think it works as a subversion for that very reason. You know, yeah, I think I'll, the no, only is reason true. it is so like quote unquote low is because Minazuki knows he can multiply it, and he if he made it a million, no, then absolutely. he would have multiplied it past the million to a billion, which then would have been really, really underwhelming. And so now it's only sort of underwhelming, which I think is the actual reason behind giving in that rather than like a subversion. Uh, yeah, fair enough. But I, I, I do, I, I like the number it was at. Though what I don't like. Is that it's exactly three hundred thousand? Yeah, well, that, there's that. Like, like it, it, these are all the people he killed in the war. So you're telling me he stopped at exactly three hundred thousand? Maybe it's like YouTube sub counts, and it's just like it rounds to the closest like zero place, and it's like you know, they don't show you the actual well, like, number. Well, well, like to- th- th- that's what I like about Toki Kaze's though is that it's like five hundred thousand four three two seven or like some shit like that. You know, it's like an uneven number, but. So- so like just seeing a conveniently even number, especially when it's like the number of people he's yeah. killed, it's just kind of obnoxious. Agreed. Well, I mean, the entire manga is kind of obnoxious, but yeah. Well, yes, but you know. What yeah. I mean. Anyways, it'll be just like old times when we killed all those kids together, except <laughs> <laughs> which is not something Lick should be talking about, as though it's like a fond memory for him. Well, I mean, the whole point is that, like, Do- as he said, like, even though those times were tough, Doan was the only one that, like, he really confided in and f- was willing to fight alongside with. So I get it. Eh. Anyways, it's 300,000, and even the clones are unimpressed by this. <laughs> this manga is fiction, it is unrelated to actual people or organizations. Uh, since it's the legendary <laughs> hero's vaunted ballot, I was wondering what incredible count it might have. I don't, I don't know why I don't know what the count of the sword is. It should have been in your file, but I don't. I didn't know it, so I had to guess about it. Uh, fucking, I'm near three hundred thousand. I'd, like, I'd, I'd like to. Th- 
I'd, I'd like to think it was in the files, but she was too busy skimming to see if he had any <laughs> He's like, okay, elix power, super speed, uh, ballot count, rask, da, 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 da. Uh, number of friends, literally zero. Oh, man, how funny. Like, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> They're 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 checking the records. Like fuck, what, d- does it say if he's if he knows how to make a baby? We gotta find that shit oh my out. God, this is so bad. <laughs> um, I was wondering what incredible counts it might have, but a mere three hundred. I like again power scaling is so fucked. We're at the point where three hundred thousand is being laughed at for being too small. Yep. We started this manga at nine hundred was a big number, and now it's like you're not even five hundred thousand. Uh. <laughs> anyway, and I like how he, Minizuki again gets bored drawing faces, and so he just makes their faces all black and gives them like scary little like white eyes, and they, they look like Hollow Knight yeah. characters, which is just funny to me. They do. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> um, fucking don't act like you've got this, you low count garba garbage. You'll pay garbage. for giving us that scare. We'll tear you to. Sh- Are these two in the front <laughs> even named classmates? those three none of them are named oh yeah well no like we, we've seen well we've seen like fucking chinese hair bun leia girl in other pages with her actual we've seen face. her but she was never named yeah. well i don't i don't kunai, think we've seen we, we the have, other two though like hair like blonde hair band yeah we, we have and and kunai we, we with have. chain girl K- kunai girl we actually have and same with the blonde chick They're, they just never were like part of the inner circle of unnamed girls mm-hmm. They were part of the background on me. Okay, movies. fair enough. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what? What is this line of dialogue next? Let's do but, one, uh, three, let's... six, five, seven. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's, like so again, but jump to Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. It reminds me of the bit where Yu-Gi and Kaiba are dueling together. It's like, okay, Yu Gi, let's, let's, oh, let's yeah, use combination dude. move three A six. Okay, but you can't act like we practiced this before because we need to pretend we hate yeah. each other. Okay, yeah. Like, okay, I summon this monster. No wait, Kaiba. I think I can help with that. Oh my god, it worked so well. <laughs> Taya's like, oh they think they're fooling. It just goes, holy crap, they're so in sync with each other. <laughs> They came up with a name for that move on the spot, but I guess that's just how good they are. (laughs) Fuck it. (laughs) That was exactly my thought. Yeah. (laughs) Fuck it. (laughs) So, look, let's do move number 13657. He's like, Doan. Yeah, whatever. So, okay, aside from my stupid joke, what is this line supposed to actually be saying? He's saying the order in which they attack them. One, three, six, five, seven. How how, how are they numbered? Like, how how does Lick know what three is? What what if what if Lick's three is the same as Doan's six? (laughs) I think it's it's because like a lot of them have like, like well, for example, all of the clones are literally just called like numbers in German. Um, (laughs) But like, are they really? For example, Ichinose. Yeah, they are. If, that's why she said they said like Veers and Sex and Siebin last chapter. I didn't know what the fuck they were on about with that. I just assumed it was stupid names they had in the past too. So the clones don't have the same no. names as the old people? They're just called numbers with, with fucking in German. Man, those guys are especially um, ruled by numbers. <laughs> but they do have some basis in their actual names. For example, Ichinose. Uh, because each one, one yeah, so I too have taken yeah, so Duolingo she, classes. So, so she's called Eins, which is one in German. Uh-huh. So when he's saying like, let's do one, he means like we're attacking Ichinose first and then three and then six. It's still dumb. It is still they dumb. shouldn't have numbers for their classmates, yeah. but that's, that's the thing. Yeah, that's not like Lick is dehumanizing them here by just referring to them as their clone number. Yeah. And how does Lick even know what their fucking clone numbers are? I don't even At know. At no point did anything be like, I'm number six and I'm number nine. And like, they don't fucking know this information. You see this hat in the war. Uh-huh. Well, I, I guess while they were, sh- while they were shooting the shit with each other, like after they murdered a bunch of people and were just sitting out in the cold snow, like they, to like brood, like usual. Don was just like, it wouldn't be funny if we like 
gave numbers to all your classmates in case we ever needed to fight them or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's making fucking like, like, what, what's what's the name like the Ag- Agamemno contingency plans that Batman has for like yeah. killing the Justice League members. And Licht was, Licht was like, "All right, cool. Well, yeah, let's let's come up with an exact order of attack." For our powerless classmates mm-hmm, in yeah. the case that they ever all become barons and try and kill yes. us. Anyways, so let's do one, three, six, five, seven. And again, like, I, I wonder what, like, how, how, okay, what do they have to do to three to know that it's, like, time to now move on to six? Like, knock them out or punch them once or twice or, like... It's punch them this once. Is, this is so vague that, like... I don't know. I don't know how any meaningful information is like shared between the two of them with that. <laughs> I'd like to imagine that, like, after Doan goes, like, yeah, whatever. Like, he has like this little internal dialogue. Like, I don't know what the fuck any of this, <laughs> but I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> he's he's like just too proud to admit yeah. it. <laughs> and what? Yeah. What I also don't get is them saying like, let's do one, three, six, five, seven. Doan. Yeah. Whatever. I don't know why Lex finishes that with Doan and he responds, yeah, whatever. Do you understand it's that? It's just like, he's supposed to go like, let's do one, three, six, five, seven, Doan. Like he's finishing the sentence. Why would that be in a different speech bubble? It makes it look like it's supposed to be important. Yeah, I don't know. And why Why would Doan be like, a, like yeah, whatever. Why, why would he not want a battle plan? As we see, the only reason they win is because they have a battle plan. It's like, why is he annoyed well, that, that they're like you employing strategy? Because he doesn't like taking Lick's orders. Because he's a dickhead. I guess. Yeah. Whatever. I don't yeah, think it's out whatever. of character for him to respond. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so fucking Lick blasts off, and like he now has the hyper I beam do. too. Yeah. Like fucking. Yeah, I, I do really like like the difference. Like when you look at like his old like speed lines compared to this one, like. It's thick. It's got like this big old like lightning wrapped around it. This is a really cool way to convey like just how faster he is. Mm-hmm. Though. Yeah, whatever. I mean, the fact that like, why do the clones have time to be like, he's gone? No, he's attacking. Leave it to me. Like if Link is so goddamn fast, surely he should just like punch all of them and they should fucking faint immediately. Then the chapter would be. Yes. Over. And. Then we wouldn't have something to uh-huh, read. Uh huh. So, <laughs> if only. Um, so <laughs> I, I, they, they they have a name for this on fucking uh, what's it called? The tropes website. TV tropes. Fucking talking is a free action. Where just like you, they can t- like you know licks blasts off, but it's fine because like talking like doesn't take a movement point in a fucking Dungeons and Dragons, so it's fine. They can do how much of that they want. <laughs> hmm. Like, no, he's attacking. Leave it to me. I'm faster than. It's like, I'm not letting you do whatever you want. First, he's Ichi no se. Which I assume was supposed to be what the joke was there. Yeah, because. Like, cause he says Ichi one in, in one Japanese. Three. And. Well, because the, the plan is one. Well, yes, three, I know, but five, I'm, so I'm said, assuming in the original oh. version, because. Like the read, like I assume yeah, no, he like says Ichi, like yes, like that's supposed to be the joke, but it doesn't yes. translate as well if you don't know yes. that. No, yeah, like it's it does it doesn't work, you know, because the whole point is that she's 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 one because her name is Ichi right, yeah. Nose. Anyway, I, I'm wondering like, why she says th- why she thinks that she's faster than Licht is. Is she? Because her count's higher. Is she really faster than Licht at this point? Her count is higher. Fucking so. okay, sure. Um, like, bastard, get your hands off Ein's, Ein's Al Goal, fucking leader of Nazareth. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get caught up with, plund- uh, not plunder. Oh. Overlord's terrible. Don't bother getting caught up with fucking Overlord. Really? I, I only watched the first season, but I fucking hated it. I enjoyed parts of what I saw. There was a giant fucking hamster at one point, Isaiah. There was a giant talking okay. comedy hamster. What? That, that 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 doesn't sound super. I'm like, I'm like scarred, like fucking like I like okay. I I get the idea they were going for. 
Like, the whole point in the first season of Overlord is he spends, like, three-fourths of it disguised as a human trying to learn about the world before he starts taking it over. But, like, that should have been, like, an episode or two. Instead, it's, like, fucking, like, nine of the 12 episodes are spent doing that. And so, as it's no longer about this evil fucking guy being evil. It's about, like, an evil guy dressed as, like, a human going around doing generic D&D adventure dungeon-finding bullshit. And, like, it, I assume later on they eventually get to the point where they're doing a the thing that the show is supposed to be about. But it took way too fucking long to get there. And in the meantime, they introduced a giant talking comedy hamster, which totally ruined my any investment I had in that fucking show. And my friends told me it was a slow burn, but that it, like, really... Gets Very slow burn. I, so. Maybe it gets better, but, like, I don't give a shit anymore. Like I lost yeah, interest I around like know. episode like eight or nine, and even that was being generous. Like I said, I wouldn't know because I I barely got into it. So. I would say don't bother. Anyways, uh, so Lick the Piers behind three, I guess, and fucking like baps him on the head non lethally with his sword. Don't ask me how the fuck he did that. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, I have no he idea. He slashes him with his sword, and he just fucking, he's fine. Hits him, hits him with the flat, I guess. I guess. I would still hurt at going at mock speed. but would still like, smash your head open like a pumpkin. He'll be fine. He's at 500,000. What the fuck ever. Uh, they go, shit, where is he? There. And he stops and goes, why would he stop and go, like, come, like, fucking, like, fucking Gene and God hand, like, come on. I got the coin. <laughs> Because he's having he's having a blast, dude. He just got his ballot back. He's fighting his treasured dead. Friend. I know, right? He should not cool. be showing off in this yeah. fucking fight. Anyways, I, again, the faces look fucking terrible. Oh, you dare yeah, look like down totally on us! Oh, uh, and then he disappears because, of course, he fucking and they fucking bang each other's head into each other. <laughs> and Doan says like six five, like that was fucking part of the plan for them to knock each other fucking yeah. out. <laughs> I'd like to think that they detailed that part. Like, okay, and, and then these two are gonna run into each yeah. other, and then we can leave them alone for a bit because they're fucking stupid. <laughs> and he goes then, and he uses gravity powers on seven, and then Lex appears behind seven, and he goes, "Sorry, I'd rather not use. Why are we still on this bullshit? You're fighting evil, rapey clones of your dead friends." Yeah. Like, I'd rather not use violence against a guy. How fucking sexist is this bullshit? Cosimo would be so fucking furious in this crap. Yeah, right? Just deck her in the face. And the fact that he, like, freely, like, goes around beating the shit out of everyone else. But when it's a girl, he's like, I'm sorry I have to do this. And then the girl goes like, crap, my body feels heavy, which is a fucking hentai line. Like, I have no idea how the fuck we're supposed to take that shit seriously. Like... (laughs) <laughs> and then he like goes whap and just bitch slaps her across the Hits face. With the <laughs> and then she goes Ugh, and fucking comes to a rest between Dolan's feet, who then pulls a gun out of literally fucking nowhere <laughs> and goes. Uh, he has a holster on his head. Does he really? I, think. I don't believe you. I think it's under the. I swear I saw it once before. Though I might be thinking of Sonal What I don't see any on these fucking pages. I don't give a shit. I'll, I'll, I'll just... I, I don't care enough to Yeah, no. He pulls a gun out of hammer space. Um, and he's like... Also, I love that his arm is so lanky that it like almost goes all the way down to her yes. head. On its yeah, he's standing... For, like, yeah, you remember the exercises you did in school where it's like trying to stand their back straight against the wall and touch your toes? Like, this guy would have no fucking problem with that bullshit. <laughs> he was born for it. <laughs> uh, and he goes, first one down. Why was there a comma there? Shouldn't it be first one down? Yeah, it should. Yeah. Um, also, why is he saying first one down? There are a bunch of other ones down. This is like the sixth one down. Well, because because this is the one that's going to die. The first one to die. I guess. Why would he not assume that anyone else is dead? Also, also, isn't it funny that we have like a bunch of like incredibly super powered characters? And they're still using the guns. Yes. Yeah. Like, like these people that can, he could crush her with gravity or lick can like mock speed slasher. But he's like, okay, to finish her off, 
bullets in Not even a cool gun. It's a fucking pistol. Like, that would do anything to any of these fucking yeah. bullshit characters. Yeah. Like, like, didn't, like, fucking good defense guy block an anti-material rifle bullet last time? But that was just because he has good defense. All right, yes, this of course. Chick, I, I, we <laughs> don't even know what this chick does. <laughs> I, yeah, I suppose not. Maybe she's got good attack to match him, and so she's just screwed here. <laughs> she, like, balanced her stature all wrong when she created her character. <laughs> Oh, uh, anyway, so like the clones get really worried and go, Sai Ben, C Ben, whatever. Um, C Ben, look how much I don't care. Oh, uh, and then Licht rushes in with, I, like, I don't mind this drawing. I hate that he has a smile on his face as he does this. No, yeah, I, I, I dig the slide, it's it's cool, but yeah, he shouldn't be like acting like a cool guy right yeah. now. Yeah, like if anything, it should be a frown. Yeah, exa- yes, exactly. Also, fucking Dylan looks was- like Rorschach with the fucking thing across his face. Oh my god, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna, I was gonna say if anything, like especially on the next page when he's like smiling as he goes, yeah, hey, don't like, no, no killing. No killing. He should be better. like, like I, I, I yeah. like him smiling there, but like in this moment, I think yeah. he should be like frowning as he tries to like rescue her really fast. Yeah, the, the, that the next page is a nice mm. one. Yeah, I, I don't mind him him like smiling, going no killing. I do mind Clone Girl being like all like dainty and like oh, I don't know what to do right now. No, yeah, she she should like look pissed yes. or like trying to stab. Yes, him exactly. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. Anyway, so don't. Like, why is she embarrassed? I don't fucking know. Whatever. Um, also, Doan goes like you fucking little like and look at us next <laughs> one ten eight three. Like, surely because they're saying this out loud, they would know that they're coming and try to defend themselves accordingly. <laughs> no, they're looking at each other and they're like, who's 10? Who's 10? <laughs> who's 8? <laughs> it's because you keep spouting stupid, naive shit and keeps kept Sonahara from dropping out that she ended up going through all this crap. But if Sonahara had dropped out and not become a baron, she'd have starved in the abyss. Fucking, don't talk as if you knew that beforehand, I, which is a I, great point. I, I really, yeah, I, I really wish that instead, like if, if this was meta or like an abridged version of this scene or something, Lick, I wish Licked would be like, who cares? It's Sonohara. <laughs> Fuck her. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Being in that school with us was the safest place for Sonohara. It's apparently fucking not. Uh, it was a world. Yeah, you know, until it got bombed. Like, and we all almost got killed and raped. Sonohara's family were rich, though. Like, they would have been fucking fine. Yep. Like, a military academy is, like, one of the worst places for Sonohara to be. If we're worried about her fucking safety. Hey, but Doan can't be correct here. <sighs> it was a world where you never knew what would happen from the one day to the next. But at least... It wasn't ruled by numbers after exactly, all. Exactly, yeah. It was anarchy. Uh, you were there for her, <laughs> right? And he goes, Ugh. Like, you do get on my nerves. Really? I actually like you quite a bit, though. Can it? I do like that. I like that. Yeah, it's a fine line. That's, that's I don't hate it. Yeah. And don't keep standing there giving instructions, just slowing us down. How you move and what goes on to that bug brain head of yours. I still know that perfectly fine, even after 300 years. <laughs> Again, like, plunderer, but every time they say 300 years, the plot gets dumber. Uh, <laughs> right. I, I do like that little interaction, though. He's like, hey, you don't need to, like, tell me what to do. I, st- I, I still know how you think. Okay, I like sure. That. Uh, right, this time will really be just like old times. And he activates gravity powers, and then Lick gets even faster. The big one. Yeah. And he goes, what the hell? Our counts are supposed to be higher than theirs. You, They told you they can multiply their fucking counts, you pieces of shit. I don't know what right they, they have they to be surprised at this point. 
they forgot about it already, dude. All they th- all they can like think about is rape and like not having friends. There's only so much their clone brains can occupy. Apparent fucking lame. Also, I like how like them not working together as a team is supposed to be important. And so like all good story authors, he introduces that only just now, right before it becomes important. No, yeah, right. Like, and he could have he could have very easily made it work in the last chapter yes. too. Like, especially how like. They were disagreeing, like like you know that one chick was like, "Hey, we should like be getting this over with quickly," and the other dudes were like, "Yeah, let's rape." Oh, I don't want to rape this chick. No, yeah, you could have had like an actual argument between them or something. Right. Maybe a couple of them start fighting each other in the backgrounds while like, you know, something like that. Yes, I. But agree. instead, it's just introduced now as it's so so they can explain why they're not winning. Yes. Hmm. And they go, huh, amateurs. And like, I'm actually not even sure what's going wrong for them here. Like, hey, don't barge into my reach. I don't know what that means. They like, I don't know. They're uncoordinated is the point. Okay, sure. Like, they've got an entire fucking field to fight in, but apparently they're just like bumping fucking into each other, I guess. Trying to do whatever it is the fuck they're trying to do. Anyways. Well, because Licht is, like, zooming all around them, so probably, like, is keeping them closed in. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, because they can, they can see the fucking, like, speed prison lines that are there. Yes. And they're like, oh, no, I better move away from that. Anyways. <laughs> you go, hmm, amateurs. And like, yeah, but what you, it just reminds me of your one joke where, like, we were trying to write a worse plot point than fucking, uh, what was it, Hina, like... Or no, it was it was when we were talking about like Lin being like better than like faster than Licked and shit. Um and stronger than jail. We were trying to write a worse plot point than that, but we couldn't. And he's like, I imagine Minazuki in the corner, it's like amateurs. Like fucking <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reminded just reminded of that. Anyways, he goes, <laughs> amateurs. He goes, yeah, but what are you all doing? If we take out the heavy bear and the nines can move, why aren't you all aiming for him? Which is a valid point. Yeah. I don't know why she's the only one who thought of that. And like why she decided to speak before just firing her fucking arrow into his head. She, she's the only one who thought of it because he smashed her face last chapter and she's spiteful. No, she's, she's, he smashed her face, which caused her to have a brain blast like with Sonohara. Like, it's just... Oh, right! <laughs> more ca- I wish more characters in the show just bash their heads into things and be smart. Wouldn't that, that be nice? That, that's, why her, that's why her eyes are so wide. She's like, I can see everything! <laughs> this is so dumb! <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of fucking Timmy Turner. Like, I can see! I can fight! I can fight! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That that's why jail keeps giving Sonar fucking glasses back. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's it's like the glasses and they live. It allows you to see how bullshit the rest of this story is. <laughs> anyway, so fucking Arrow Girl says the smart thing, but isn't quite smart enough to not say this until after Doan's di- died by her arrow. So she announces her presence like five minutes beforehand, which allows Doan to use his fucking like gravity powers. And then it looks like it's going to miss anyway. And then, but luckily, some bullshit happens and the arrows explode. And I'm not sure why Doan's gravity powers wouldn't have been enough to counteract an arrow. Yeah, I mean they could stop Sonohara's bullets. Yes. So I don't know why that. Well, I don't know I, why I he was like, "Oh no," because like, he didn't activate his gravity powers in time. I assume it's just because like they were coming from all around, and because he needs to typically direct his gravity. He doesn't have to. He just saw that he can have an area of effect of you. If he's going to, if the alternative is death, then fuck it, turn it on for a second, go, Ugh, and then turn it off once the things are destroyed. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he definitely could have. I'm just, yeah. Uh-huh. But then Sonohara wouldn't be able to do something. Right, yes, of course. Anyways, this bullshit fucking happens. And Doan like sees a bullet whiz by and I like, stop in mid place so we can look at it. And he goes, ugh. And he sees a bullet with a head. <laughs> this makes you so funny to me. Just a bullet with a heavenly glow around it. Like this like <laughs> He's looking. <laughs> it's the holy bullet. Fucking love it. 
Anyways, and then I love as we cut back to a random part of the fucking foggy forest that they're in. Um, we cut to fucking Hertz and Hida who are trying to like, hey, Sonahar, can you please wear some clothes? And Sonahar is like, no. You know what I think is funny? What? This is the jacket that Harris just got because she almost got raped. And now she's like, you know what? You're the recent rapist. You <laughs> You're right. Yeah. More than me. <laughs> it's like Sisterhood of the Traveling <laughs> Pants, Sisterhood of the Rape Jacket. Yeah. <laughs> oh my fucking God. Anyway, so Sonohara, like, somehow, like, I don't understand Isaiah. Like, Sonohara is away from the scene, so but she acts like she like read it all along with the audience. Like she now knows mean? Doan's backstory they discussed after she had left. Well, I assume it's just that she already knew. No, she thought no, she flies away and says, I hate you, and now she's Well yeah, but no, here here she's clarifying what she meant. She doesn't say, like, like I see, hate like, you because of this. She doesn't, it's not like a rephrasing of the previous one. She's now, she's calling him an idiot for not being tr- honest with himself earlier. No, c- c- no, and she was, she like, actually like, sad hate- earlier. And now she's, like, understanding of what he was trying to do the whole time. Well, she's still crying about it. I'm pretty okay, sure fine. she, she if you don't, understood if you don't want that, that. Then like. how the fuck is she controlling her bullets and aiming them so precisely from God knows how many miles away? Because they follow you forever. She doesn't fucking know what's happening right now. Like if she if she just aimed it like at, if she's like if she fired a bullet in a random direction like I want it to hit fucking arrow girl. Fine, but well, the bullet would not then go around and hit her arrows. It would hit her and she would die. Fair. The only reason that, this happens that, is so hard really can like cool. remote view from her bullets, which is bullshit. Yeah, now Sonohara yeah. read the manga along with the audience, and so knows what was happening while she was gone, giving licked his sword. Uh, and by the way, thank God everyone was just like right here, like fucking like five feet from where the fuck they're fighting. Um, and so Sonohara fires a bullet, and then the bullet magically fucking like it shoots Arrow Girl in the face, but she's fine. But it doesn't kill her. She doesn't have the Even good defense. Is, uh... So what the fuck? Yeah, this is the AMR. Yeah, that's, 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 I didn't even think about that. But yeah, this is we established this would be deadly previously, and now it actually lands a hit, which is fucking fine. It's fucking yeah, it hits her right in the face, right in the fucking. Didn't face. he say this chapter was inoffensive uh, when we started this bullshit? I didn't remember it hitting her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I like how funny this image is. This is like yeah, like, an image from like a, a plunder comedy chapter. The fact that the bullet completely obscures her face is funny. Yeah, it just fucking <laughs> like, her, like her entire face exploded. <laughs> Anyways, so she gets shot with a fucking anti-material rifle bullet, but she's fine because the plot says so. And so I was like, I hate how you're always saying such cruel things. And then her bullets fly around and do things that she could only do if she was seeing the situation. She goes, I hate that you're kind, but you can't just speak from the heart. I hate that I take your kindness for granted, what, and never thank you. I hate being weak. I hate how you pretend to be strong. I hate you, even though I can never ask for your help. What is this dialogue? Uh, I take your kindness for granted and never thank. I just again flashback to him holding her by her fucking hair. Uh, I take your kindness yep. for granted and never thank you. I hate being weak, which is fair, and I hate how you pretend to be. St- he is actually strong, though. Well, I'm talking I, I think like emotionally like strong. Yeah, like emotionally strong. Okay. I'm pretty sure. At least that's what I inferred from. I it. guess. Like, I hate you even though I could never ask you for your help. What does that mean? I don't know. It might just be weird phrasing. Okay. And for not calling me Mizuka anymore, it's because we grew up a little. She, I feel like that's something you should have been pointing out this whole time, because that was not something that even on my radar, that she didn't call him the same thing anymore. 
Well, yeah, because she calls him Takatora all the time, but he he never calls her Mizuka. Mm-hmm. Does, does, wait, does he yeah. call her like by her like last name instead, or? Yeah, yeah, she calls him with his first name. He calls her by her last name. Okay, I see. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, so I just I I, I did I did I did point out the fact that she calls him Takatora way back in the past. Uh, okay, fine. So. I just forgot all of it because it's bullshit. Fair enough. Yes, you did. Anyways, Takatora Kun, and just again the holy fucking bullets appearing from the nowhere. He- heavenly bullets. Yes. Yeah. That sounds like a fucking like fate spinoff, like fate heavenly bullet, like. <laughs> 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 Fine. It really does. It does, yeah. Um, and he goes, hey, cockroach, go ahead and let loose. If you go at about five times normal, you will. Is that something you can. Is there like an odometer that you can like check the amount of shit you're going over? No, you, you can choose how much Schmerman Lollicon jeans you use at a time. A parent fucking lead. So, right, if I, if, <laughs> so yeah, yeah you, you go down the spectrum. So you start with like characters like Nymph, who are like, you know, like 15-ish and sort of <laughs> see, And then as, as you increase your count, you sort of go down and then you're sort of, you know, you're sort of dealing with it. And then eventually it's characters like Kana from May Dragon. Oh! And like as you increase that, your power, ex- the Lollicon ex- jeans get more and more intense. <laughs> That explains why you went crazy because you went full lowly like chaos. Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my fucking god, this is terrible and I hate it. <laughs> uh, and Lick goes, but Dohan, if you use your full power, you'll. I won't get crushed. I won't be controlled either. All my regrets have disappeared. I do like that. How does that work? He was getting crushed because he had regrets. Well, because we know that like regrets stunt like the growth of each of the aces. Right. And, like you can say it's a stupid plot point on its own. Okay. It's it's more supposed to be like emotional. If you want to go that route, him, fine. So. But like I would then go the route. Like I want them all to just, like fucking like the second he says like my regrets have disappeared, I expect him to die. He just immediately ages three hundred years and just turns into a fucking skeleton. <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> It'd just be, yeah, I, I would expect that to happen, not for his powers to get stronger. But oh well. That's fair. It's more just that, like, there's nothing like inhibiting him at, at this point from from moving forward, and so he can. You can. There's even also see, nothing like, the inhibiting him gravity. from dying and aging normally now. You you can also see that the color of his gravity power changes because Minazuki is a hack. And so now it's white instead of black. <laughs> oh my god! Anyways, uh, <laughs> I can't move at all. What's this? Like, what about Rahito Park? And he like fucking multiplies his count. It's like, like no way he can still move even in this gravity field. When I first saw you guys, I was uncontrollably angry to the point that I even killed you, even if I meant my own life, because I was so serious about the non-killing army. But now, <laughs> I'm grateful. And the clown's like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, thanks to you, I was finally able to let go. Thanks to you, Sonohara almost got raped. I know, and somehow, like, seeing perverted monstrosity versions of his classmates let him, allowed him to let go of the old nice versions he knew? That's not how that works. I, I, what he's trying to say is that, like, now he sees that, like, even, even if they could be revived, like, these, these people aren't them. So, like, any chance of, like, his old friends being around. He's like given up basically on it. Okay. It's, it's dumb. Like, like I, I, I don't, I don't mind the before. idea of, like, I feel like if anything, Toki Kaze should have been like, no, they're all dead. Like maybe, Toki, maybe Lick was like, oh man, I didn't see them die in the abyss. So maybe they're still alive out there somewhere. And then Toki Kaze is like, no, they're all dead. I killed them. Like that would have been like, I'm, I was able to move on now. <laughs> but no, now seeing the still alive perverted versions of his classmates allows him to move on somehow. Yeah. No, if I, anything, no, I, I was going to sort of drag mean. him further down in the hopes that maybe they're still out there somewhere, like get and interact with them like this. Anyways. Um, so he's like, everyone's really gone. I'll never be able to meet them. He says, as he looks at the fucking 
whatever. It's like, Doan, I envy you. For now at least, I'll still have my regrets. <laughs> Figured you'd say that. And they go, no! And then Licked. What does Lick do, Isaiah? He swings his sword and the force of it blows them all away. Does it? Because it looks like just yes. everything explodes. He did this before uh, in the fight against Jail, if you remember. He did that one slash and the force blew everyone back. Uh-huh. Okay. In fact, this page this page is pretty similar to that page, if I remember correctly. I know I one of my friends on Twitter uh, like posted the parallel. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, in my heart. So yeah, it's just the, the sheer force of his sword swing like blew them all back. <laughs> Okay. In my heart, I've always hoped that I'd see everyone again someday, but I guess it's about time. About time that I have to say my goodbyes. And then he stands there and his sword slash thankfully just knocked them all out and they're all fine. And he's sad. Yep. He goes, they're little, they're like little kids who got their hands on a tank. I'm like, huh? You know what's funny? What? You see, that's supposed to be like a fucking, uh, like, he, he's trying to symbolically like say how they're inexperienced at yes. this. Like, oh, even if they're really strong. But the thing is, is that in Plunderer, this is a series where little kids can literally pilot tanks yes. Well, yes. and helicopters. Yeah, yeah I, guess, and I, I suppose the comparison does not work as well in the series, does it? It, it, it does not work, no. Yeah. <laughs> Like you think Lick would be like you mean like Toki Kaze? <laughs> yeah, fucking. <yeah. It's> <laughs> they have no idea who to lead in command. No matter how high their counts get, there's still no match for real soldiers. Yeah, I'm sure if you put in a bunch of real soldiers with zero counts against them, they would totally lose every time, right? It's not because you guys had bullshit powers to match or anything. No. Yeah. Still, if it had been them, how would this fight have gone? If it had been your real friends from Class A, maybe the ones who had been, who, maybe we're the, oh, maybe we're maybe. the ones who'd have been in trouble, cockroach. Except not. Like, that would make sense if he had to kill them, but he would be able to knock out his previous friends just the same. Well, his point is that his previous friends would have been more experienced and would have been able to work together better. No, they wouldn't. They'd fucking died without seeing any combat at all. Well, I mean, they trained, though, in the school for like a year straight. Presumably these guys trained. Well, yeah, they did, but he's like, never mind. I'm pretty sure the clones do not have substantially less experience than the old classmates who didn't see war at all because the Lick was fighting everything for them. I don't, I don't like the comparison. Anyways, he goes, thanks, Doan. But still, he just had to go and do something that's bothersome was just knocking them all out. How many times is he to be told? Wars will never end if you don't kill anyone. Doan, we're the non-killing army, aren't we? He goes like, yeah. At least for this chapter, I right? Know, yeah. <laughs> like, you're hopeless because yeah. I got to watch your back for just a bit longer. Now, what they should do is fucking handcuff them, but instead they just walk off and leave them there. Well, yeah. So they can come back and be assholes and again in later chapters. That, yeah, that's not going to bite them later on or anything. Nope. So yes, we have the fifth restart of the non-killing army. This is like me. Well, I like I like I swear I'm going on a diet today, and then just by two days later, I just give up and just yeah, you know, fucking cram my face again. Like like this is Lick's like fifth attempt like a non-killing army. It'll stick for maybe a couple days. <laughs> Hold- Hold up, hold up. I'm sorry, I don't know if you saw it in the chat earlier, uh-huh. uh, but Va- Vaporweep said the reason why Doan was getting crushed was because he didn't have conviction <laughs> yet. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so this chapter, I still think it's pretty all right. It's pretty bad. One girl gets shot with a fucking anti material rifle and she's fine. I said it's pretty Non-killing right. army, Isaiah. Non-killing army. Hey, <laughs> Sonohara didn't agree to it yet. She was <laughs> yeah. <off the woods. laughs> yeah, fucking is going to give her a stern talking to when they get I'm back. I'm sure. 
It's going to be like the next time you break the non-killing army rules, we won't save you from getting late. Next time you break the non-killing army rules, you'll have detention for at least two hours. <laughs> I'll have to show you my bully act. <laughs> God, this fuck is so fucking bad. <laughs> I'm having a blast. I don't know about you. Uh-huh. Uh, well. Any notes? Oh, uh, let's see. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wanted to ask why it hurts and the others are just standing around by Sonohara not helping Licked and fucking Doan at all. <laughs> They don't have clothes. Yes, they do. And everyone knows girls can't fight with no clothes. Yes, they fucking do. Hertz's clothes magically repaired themselves, and Hina's fucking fine. She still she still doesn't have the pants. She just has a shirt. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, and again, though, uh, like the that. only counter you could have to that is we don't know if she has a ballot, but if she does later on in the manga, that'll be a fucking huge plot hole. She will, must have a ballot if she's fucking like as fast as jail. I don't fucking know. Oh, wait, never mind. Lynn didn't need one. Yeah, exactly. Ugh. I know, right? <laughs> Anyways, those are my notes. Well, that was yep. it. Well, I mean, we got through most of them. Yeah, fair enough. All right. We are on to the final English translated chapter as of today. Uh-huh. Alone. Sad. Isn't alone. It? Alone. 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 <laughs> alone, alone, alone. Okay. Uh, really quick, I um, say so intermission because I need to go to the restroom. Okay, cool. Me too. Cool. Well, we'll be right back after these messages. Woo! I return. Hi, chat. How you doing? I don't think we said it at the start of the stream, um, but I actually moved houses this week. So I'm at a different room. So if my audio sounds a bit different, that's why. Because there's a huge fucking echo in here. I tried my best to get rid of it, but like it's still pretty bad regardless. Also, Internet's pretty goddamn patchy still. Still working on getting like a, a, a direct landline connection to the router. So apologies for any lag you may or may not be experiencing right now. Uh, also, I believe, what was it, Daniel, like, replied to his fucking uh, horrible Horizon Zero Dawn opinion earlier, saying that, like, his, uh, he had the game's difficulty set too high, and that's why he didn't like it, which is fine. Like, I, like when I think about, like, Horizon Zero Dawn, my mind doesn't really go to the combat. I'm more enamored with the story. I mean, the combat's fine, and even okay at some parts, Um but the combat was never what I was a super big fan of, and that show was always the story. So, yeah, I guess if the combat didn't click for you because you had it on too high a difficulty setting, then yeah, that might absolutely do that. I just think the story in that game is fucking great. Uh, the writer, was it Tom Jubert who did that one, or was it someone else? The writer of fucking Horizon Zero Dawn is a fantastic fucking guy, and I love his work. I return. No, don't threaten me. Sorry, I had to get ice cream cake. I see. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love my pizza showed up right as exactly as soon as I had to read that fucking chapter, and so it's been sitting here getting cold for the last like thirty goddamn minutes. 
And so now I get to eat cold <laughs> pizza. My fucking podcast obligations ruined it. It's okay. I'm sure my ice cream cake will melt as I read through yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Experience the pain you've inflicted upon me. <laughs> How does it feel? <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel in control? <laughs> anyway, so you read while I get Anyway. To- yeah. Um, so be, because this is a Minazuki manga, uh, sorry, let me rephrase that. I don't, I don't want to taint Sorno and Tashimono because this is Plunderer. We immediately cut from super serious shit back to comedy bullshit. Yeah. So um, I got raped so two chapters ago. Yeah. So now not as drinking, everyone's drinking. Um, not thank God. He and I pulled out the magic bandages. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah. Uh, and just so that everyone is aware that they don't exist, they put the, the manga is fictional warning on the left. Yes. Do not try uh, to just wrap someone's like fucking death up with bandages that <laughs> won't work. Please don't play that. <laughs> yeah. That, also, I, I love that Minazuki, like, like he, he tries to like make a joke out of this. Like he's all like, oh, you, you just went to go fight the moment you got your ballot back. You still have a freaking hole in your stomach. Like, yeah. Yeah, he does. Yeah. And you're 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 applying bandages. Yes, you're you're applying bandages to the hole on his stomach. Wait, why does he have a hole in his better. stomach again? Like, what happened there? Because Ichi knows a Ichi knows a stabbed straight through him. Oh, you're right. Oh my fucking god, you're right. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, no, he yeah. had a sword wound through con- the chest, but he's fucking fine. And a concussion. Yeah, <laughs> concussion. And a concussion, as yeah, as Pele made clear to <laughs> yeah, well, point out yeah. to us. <laughs> God, I wish he like called out every wound he gave to someone. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> um, but anyway, Lynn, uh, everyone's getting drunk. Lynn's all like, "Hey, pudding, you should learn your lesson and not be so reckless." And Pele just, I, I do like this panel of Pele off in the corner, like just looking at all the bandages she's covered mm-hmm. with the magic bandages. Um. And then in the next page. Also, he's got some fucking like, magic bandages talk. over his fucking brain because he uses Professor X powers too much. <laughs> and also, he got stabbed in the fucking heart, but he's fine. He got stabbed through the Fuck gut. Fuck you. I, mean, I told you but, I was bullshit but, last time. But apparently, he doesn't even need magic bandages for those. He's already fine. Yeah. Only for the head. Um, yeah. I, I, do, I do like this little bit between him and Lin, though, and they look really cute mm. uh, in the chibi. Well, Mitazuki reuses that like an, eyes swimming image, which I think is way less funny the second time. Yeah, he shouldn't have, he shouldn't have reused it. Yeah, but yeah, Nana realizes that they're a couple, and so she rips open her shirt because because it's a fan service comedy chapter. Yes, and Pele speaking for, for speaking um, for the audience says, "Just kill, me. just kill me." <laughs> <laughs> So Why like, is hey, they so obsessed with relationships so at this point? Like, where the fuck is that character because trait, she, Ben? Because she got rejected by Licht, and then she started, like, immediately hopped onto Jail's lap. Well, like, uh, I know. why would she be jealous of other relationships? Just, why not, like, because she has her thing going with Jail, right? Well, they're not a couple yet. Well, she yeah, just but they've, like, flirted jail. or whatever the fuck before, right? She's flirted with him. He's just kind of tolerated, <laughs> as as has the audience. Um, <laughs> exactly. Like I don't know. I, um, I don't buy her going around being like everyone's a couple and getting mad and drunk about that. Fair enough. Uh, but anyway, we also cut again Dawn fucking Sonohara. like fucking Sonohara got raped two chapters ago. Yep. But apparent, but she still hasn't even buttoned up her shirt yet. Yeah, that's what I love. Is like, hey, that's sitting in the fucking poignant field of flowers. Uh, so hard, didn't even bother to get changed before she did that. Yeah, but it's okay because he he put a flower wreath on her head, so now she's over getting raped. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Nana's pissed off because she noticed that's, the, she the flower. The, I guess the bandages are made out of flowers then, because fucking so he wraps one <laughs> around her head and heals her mental scarring. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Um, so so now that now Nana's extra pissed because she realized that literally everyone has formed breeding pairs <laughs> except for her. 
So she tries getting all the nameless side characters drunk from the the fucking special service. And she's all like, oh, I, th- I wonder if he's all right. He hasn't gotten back to us in a while. And Hare's, um, I don't know. It feels weird just kind of having her here now. Yeah, I, I agree. You know like she's I mean? a good character, and but she's, she's such- not been established for comedy scenes. Yeah, does she? She she's really like in this sort of scenario. I don't feel like she fits mm. because she's so sh- like straight laced. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It, like even her reaction, like, oh, is this some sort of top secret operation? Like, it's it's not that it's funny. Like, it's in character for her. But like, it's just it's, it's just not a good it, joke. It's just that it's not. Yeah, it's just not funny yeah. <laughs> because she doesn't work in a comedy situation. Agreed. Um. But then Jail shows up on his Skype window. <laughs> <laughs> but right as they were talking about him, what are the fucking odds? Yeah. He goes, nah, nah. And she, what if I, Man I was like, like on the toilet like, or some shit? Yeah, exactly. That's what I was about to say. Like, this is so inconvenient. Like, at least give him the ring tone. Yeah. <laughs> 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 could, could could you imagine like do, 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 he, he just goes like do, do, yeah, do, do, yeah, but but like <laughs> but Aries making the sounds or Aaron yeah. like like Jail's like I don't want to be rude Aaron do it and she like sighs and she goes do do do, 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 do. <laughs> that's funny and why would Jail call yeah. Nana first I know right well it's it's for the sake of this gag. Because she she's like, oh hey, how are you? And he goes, is Rahito here? <laughs> Why I, wouldn't he I, just I call Rahito? Kind of no, exactly. That's the thing. Like, I think it's kind of a funny like bit, but it makes no sense why he wouldn't just immediately call Rahito yes. instead. Also, Minazuki's accursed dots make their reappearance, but they look like shit. Oh, she is fucking like yeah, fucking smallpox. Like... <laughs> You're right, and they're like not like evenly placed. Like they look all yeah. weird. Um, but anyway, so now, you know, as you said last chapter, like, well, everything's hunky dory. They got the ballot. They have most of the barons. What's stopping them? Um, and so here's what's stopping them. (laughs) (laughs) I've been trying to pass this information on to Tokikaze, but I can't reach him. Can't reach him. My power searches for the recipient's mind, connects with it, and creates an image to communicate. How, t- however, no matter how I try, I haven't been able to find Tokikaze. How could that be? You can't mean that he's dead. No, I can feel his presence, what? whatever that means. Like, but her power searches for you, and then displays the Skype window to wherever you are, so she can tell where he is. But she can't tell where he is. She she can't reach his mind. Yeah, it's a stupid contrivance. Because obviously, the first thing they'd want to do is just go call Tokikaze. Hey, we, we fixed all the problems. All your kids are safe. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got Nick's ballot back. Let's all go kill Schmerman. And he would be like, okay. Yep, yes he would. But we can have that happen. Yeah. So... So I can't can't find him, but I can feel his presence, so he's not dead. Yeah. I can feel his presence, but I can't Skype call him. I think he blocked me. (laughs) (laughs) He ghosted Um, me. (laughs) But she's like, oh, but because I specifically can't reach his mind, you know what that means, don't you, Rahito? This is the worst case scenario. Sometime earlier. So we cut back to like Tokikaze watching all the kids die. And the future spaceships in the top. Well, love to see them again. Oh, yeah, there they are. (laughs) Good to see them. (laughs) So so the broadcast just cut off and he's all like, What happened to the children? What did you do to them? And then Chekhov returns and says, Obviously, Chekhov teleports into the fucking scene. How does he do that? Yes, so here's the thing. Yeah, so apparently. Either he can also teleport, mm-hmm. or they have another guy with teleport powers. Mm-hmm. And if they have another guy with teleport powers, why didn't they just go teleport, grab Lick's ballot back, yes. and then teleport back? Yes. Or, I don't know, teleport to where Lick was passed out in the middle of the field, shoot him in the head, shoot everyone else, take the original ballot back, 
teleport back to the base and call it a day. Yes. Also, we have proven in the past that Tokikaze can like cut through teleport bullshit, and so you wouldn't be able to surprise him like this. Yep. But anyway, he he he, he gets angry and he goes, "You bastards!" But somehow. Chekhov is faster than his interdimensional slashes. What the and dodges fuck? them all. So I can't. You see, you see he, he Chekhov works fine as like like a sneaky co- conniving villain. Dude. Yeah, but like but having him like fucking body Tokikaze like this does not fucking work. No, yeah, you can't have the sneaky conniving villain also be like super strong because if he's super strong then why doesn't he just get shit done himself yes. well you're asking you're trying to ask logical questions about Chekhov's existence and really there is just there, he, nothing about him is logical at all as we said he's crazy so it doesn't matter what the fuck he can do or what he does do or could do or doesn't do because he's crazy but like here's the thing if he's if he's able to best Tokikaze <laughs> why do they the need children? Tokikaze <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. If, they, if he can beat Tokikaze, they don't need Tokikaze. Yes, you're right. It's funny because we yeah. established him to have like illusion powers in a second. So he could have just like illusioned his way to sneak up Tokikaze, which would have been fine. But no, they got to make him stronger than Tokikaze too. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, like why maybe he like created an illusion so Tokikaze like slashed it the wrong thing. But instead, that's not established. He dodges. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Um, but he goes like, "Oh, are, are we really the ones to blame?" Yes. And he, yes. <laughs> um, so he creates an illusion thing of Tokikaze's old memories because he can do that apparently. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was the day that Alcia was created, and him and Licht were fighting. And we see that that now because Licht was evil at the time, he has black light <laughs> instead of just his normal black light because he's evil at this point. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's like Ichinose's. It's black. Mm, it's the black hyper beam, not the white alternative. Yeah. So they fought, and we see. So we see Hina jump I in hope front that of this him. Is, yeah, God, I I hope that this is just part of the illusion because as we see, like she immediately starts talking to Tokikaze, but like how it looked before, right? Mm-hmm. Like when we when we saw the old flashback, was that like Licht went out of his way to kill her in his rampage? Whereas here, she just stupidly jumps in front of the fight and gets stabbed while she's pregnant. Yes. Like, what did she hope to accomplish? If anything, she's just she's making it harder for Tokikaze by becoming a liability. Yes, yes, she is, and killing their child. Yep. So she does that and gets stabbed, um, but because she's a dumb illusion. She starts talking. To I don't her. mind. I actually kind of like that. Like, uh, I like the transition from her like screaming in her death throes to like, and just like, you know, turning your head creepily like in Silent Hill. Like, at what point you became all alone? I, I don't. I, I don't mind. In a better manga, I'd like that. That's what I was about to say. In a better manga, this would be like chaos is illusion. Mm, yeah. You know, like like tormenting them with their past memories. Mm-hmm. But it's not a better yeah. manga. Um, so yeah, she's all like, uh, no, the day you were truly alone was when I was killed. He's like, no, no, you're wrong. I have the sweatshops. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, answer me this one question. All the children that I quote unquote did- care for. <laughs> in the past 300 years you've spent with them in the abyss. Did they really curb your loneliness? Were your jackets really that good? <laughs> no. <laughs> also, it's weird to me that in the first image, the kids like still wear the same clothes they had when they were toddlers, but then they get new clothes in the third image. Well, the the chick in the middle and left are wearing the same, but the dude on the right gets a new yeah. coat. Apparently, well, still. Anyways, point being, like, I don't know, like, the, do they like yeah, have weird? Because like the clothes are obviously way too small for like the ones to fit the top panel to fit middle panel. No, yeah, well. I was gonna say, an, an an easy an easy way to get around this is if like he just drew them with really bag clothes, mm-hmm. black baggy clothes in the top yeah. one, and you know could have said like it was hand me downs from another one of the dead yeah. kids. Uh, Although I would have asked why he wouldn't have like, you know, because obviously 
obviously the main majority of his, or his of his demographic would be little tiny kids. So there's no reason for him to have oversized clothes when most of the people there would be fucking in that you know size range, whatever the fuck. Fair enough. Um. Anyway, so yeah, she's all like. Surely oh, it makes sense for them to have less like- clothes the older they get. And so they would be wearing the same clothes in the middle of the image they wore in the third image, not change into all new clothes in the third one. Very valid. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, yeah, she's all like, oh, but you always knew you'd have to kill those children eventually. No matter. I, I think this was a bad it, no place to like use or re- to use. Or no, is, is this the is this a panel we saw in like the 30s or whatever the fuck? Or is this a new panel? This is a different. Why one. the fuck didn't he use the kids on the previous page? Yeah, he should. I don't know why he just used two random other people instead. Is that fucking ruins right? the no, point yeah, of the scene? It would have been a lot. Yeah, it would see have been them a as babies, see them growing up, and now saw. see them to, you know dying or whatever. Would have. I don't know why I chose two random people, not the ones that we saw. It's bizarre. Yeah, that, that is. I didn't even think of that, but yeah. Um. But yeah, blah, blah, blah. All they did was break your heart and made you more aware of your solitude. But you've done enough, Tokikaze. It's your turn to be saved. So please let me. Wait, hold on. Before, 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 we go the next, before, before we go to the next page, why, why the fuck is there a like panel box breaking up these two images? I don't They're the same know. image. I've seen that done before. What the fuck is I've the point? I've seen that done before. I don't know, but I, I've seen a lot of mangaka do this. I, I think it's just to like frame the bubbles draw properly. Your eye. Yeah, because yeah, if it was, if it like, was like four big, eye. four different bubbles, it might be confusing as to like how you read it. I guess. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. You could have just made it one bubble Probably. though. Yeah, I could have. Which is weird. Anyways, give you a helping hand. <laughs> and he stabs him with the evil <laughs> god damn it we have Minazuki hit the, the little roulette wheel and the villain of the arc landed on Toki a parent fucking Lee yeah well what did you give me what you ask crack cocaine <laughs> of course <laughs> also I like that his eye turns into an eight because of the fucking doubling like well, that's just that, that, that's that's the number in his eye, like Rahito has. The, wait, on the what? next page, Tokikaze is shaking. His eye is like an what eight. eight. Oh, that's not. the I number know his eye is just shaking, but it looks yeah. like that, and it reminds yeah. me of the number that like yeah. that fucking Lick does have in his eye. Well, well, well. He he gets a number later in this chapter, which is why I was confused. Yeah. But yeah, I see what you mean though. Um, but yeah, blah, blah, blah. This is the make you evil drug that makes you evil. Yes. So this one is 300 times more concentrated. So don't expect to recover from it unless you have conviction. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Isaiah, fact, you, you, you want to think of better? Like, look at how many chapters it'll take for him to get better. I One volume. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to bet uh, like in sometime in the next volume. Yeah. Not the next volume, because the next volume is all jail focused. Well, not not the, the next one. Like, I mean, the, the chapters that haven't come out yet. Oh so yeah. After this, after no, yeah, this it'll, current it'll, volume, that'll be the big Tokikaze fight, and then so yeah, it'll be like when we see him, he'll be introduced in in like fifty nine or whatever the fuck at the end, and of, then by yeah. sixty three or whatever, he'll be better and on their side. No, yeah, it'll just be a one volume yeah. thing, guarantee. Yep. Anyway, yeah. Um, the only reason Colonel Rihito managed to gain control of himself was by killing someone precious to him. Damn you! You want me to kill Rihito? Of course not. Or the music? No, you, you have to someone sing it. Else? Of course. How do you sing? Of course not. Of course not. Three words. Fucking. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, you did it. They put the music note there. Don't blame me. Whatever. Well, good on you. I didn't realize you cared about plundering this place. (laughs) (laughs) 
You have someone else, don't you? More precious to you than Mojito. More precious than even your kids from the abyss. You are one and only daughter. What the fuck? They've like had like ten lines of dialogue totally in the entire yeah, I was manga. Say, I, I, I don't think he'd care about her more than Lick. Or the kids that he raised for decades. The daughter he met for like a yeah, couple of days. Like. Yeah, like just because he's blood related to her doesn't mean that like they. And yeah, like he grew up with Licked, and they've known each other for three hundred fucking years. Yep, he's known Hina for like a day. Yeah, but he's all like, "Oh, well, you must either kill Hina or become our puppet." What I love is that like to kill your own daughter to shake off the drug, but like this one's 300 times more powerful than the one that Lick had to shake off by killing someone he loved. So surely he would have to kill he'd like 300 people he loved in order to shake off the drug. Or maybe just kill Hina 300 times. Yeah, what I would give. <laughs> right? Uh, but anyway. There, there's there's Shmerman, a character in no Bleach has... who's like given a drug or some shit so that like they perceive time like one billionth of a second is equal to one second or whatever the fuck and so that then they get stabbed and so it's like from their perspective they're like being stabbed for, like a billion years before they actually die and what I would give for Hina to experience a billion years of torment like that <laughs> what I was gonna say is that um, on the next page we see Schmerman no longer has his walkie-talkie man, and he has to hold it himself. Oh man, he's really in a pinch now. That's how you know. Yeah, you can you can see how uh, the, he has to hold it like a few feet away from his face. He doesn't know how yeah. it works. Also, his fucking weird ass <laughs> lamp is techno future lamp. Also, do you notice? Is that shoes that he has in like a case behind? He's him? got chaos's shoes. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, he, they, does does he have chaos shoe backstory? Man, too? he's got like an evil like he got like an, a robot arm with like a wall plug on the top of it over here. <laughs> what is this room? And, and, yeah, <laughs> I don't fucking and he, know. He, he has a and, fucking, and a microscope. He is a pen. and he has a pen there. <laughs> yeah, he has, he has a pen, but nothing to write yeah. on. Um. Uh, the new leader for the the leader for the new class A has been born. Yes, as of now, he will listen only to me and none other. Toki Kaze. Then his, his his sword starts to glow, and we get one of the coolest fucking pages Minazuki has ever drawn in the middle of all this horse. This shit. is pretty cool. I like it a lot. This art is so, like ridiculously like, nice. Like this looks like something. Painted in like the twelfth century or something. Yeah. It was, it was, it was something like one would or not one fucking who's the guy actually adapted Murata. One Punch Man. Murata. Yeah. It's something Murata would draw in One Punch Man. Like it's just so insanely detailed and accurate and shit. Yeah, right? Like the fucking detail, the inking, you can feel the weight of this image, if you know what yeah. I mean. Like it, it feels heavy looking mm -hmm. at it. The rain, the, the My like, body inking, feels the heavy aura coming off of him. <laughs> it's this is just what legitimately one of like the best pages Minazuki's ever. It drawn, is very, in pretty. my opinion. I I use this and one image in the, of the video as my example shit. of like fucking the art's incredible in the manga. At least the anime looks like dog shit. Mm. Such a shame. Yeah. Anyway, um. So he cuts back to like Rahito going like, oh, I've, I've dreamt of you every day. So did I, Rahito. For these past 300 years, every day I thought about you. About killing you and leaving you in a pool me. of blood. <laughs> if only you'd been there in that hell with me. You were right, Hina. Please forgive your father for not being honest. And we see his count finally multiplies because of course he can do that. I pray that you at least can live on in happiness. Your father will soon be reduced to a mindless demon. So please, Rahito. To print. And we cut to another really cool looking page. Uh, and there's the 002 in his eye. To protect Hina. Please kill me! In the surge of madness. <laughs> Wait, this is the edgiest page in the entire manga. That's saying a lot. Right? It's not just because of the sharp edge, but like... Not the literal one. Anyway. The black pillar. Yeah. Like, 
the the pillar of black energy like parting the clouds. He just like screams. Like, ah! Oh no, the other page to like to protect Hina. Double page spread. Oh, that I think one. that's the edgiest page in the manga, and not because of the literal edge. Yeah. But that's the chapter. And again, it's funny because of his stupid mask. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a little fucking mustache. <laughs> and that's the so, chapter. Yeah, what'd you think of this one? Horse shit. But it was a different sort of horse shit. Well, I mean, it's like true. Plunder is a sumptuous buffet of different flavors and varieties of horse shit. This chapter is hilarious i think like I intentionally hilarious or unintentionally hilarious oh unintentionally the comedy at the start is dog yes, shit okay cool but it's all the serious parts that's fucking hilarious uh -huh, yeah fair enough <laughs> fucking God yeah damn. wow just like we needed something to make sure that, you know, oh, the monk is going to end in like one chapter if we don't do something. Yeah, Doki Kaze is uh, evil. Give him evil drug. Evil drug. Yep. <sighs> God damn it. Brilliant. Yeah. Fucking insanely brilliant. This genius writing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um,. Let's go through my notes chronologically, first of all. Uh, first of all, at the very first page, two-headed horse looking even more deformed than usual. Let me go see it. Hang on. Oh, yeah, you're it's like right. A, it's like one of the heads is turned into a giraffe. giraffe. Yeah, exactly, a giraffe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't understand why Nana getting drunk has to include everyone else getting drunk, too. It's dumb. Uh, where the fuck are they getting all this food and alcohol that everyone's eating? From her tavern. They're fugitives, the wanted criminals. They can't go in any fucking towns. They 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 have a big stock. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, everyone gets bandages and they're fixed. Uh, how lucky that there was a flower field right nearby, so we have the poignant scene with Doan and Sonohara. Like they were in a forest previously, but that was just an open field, like five feet away from them. So, fucking, and thankfully yeah. it's full of flowers, not just grass or dirt or anything. Um, fucking, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I t okay, I totally see why people on Reddit say this manga is fucking insanely hard to follow chapter to chapter. It's like, even reading it like we are, I still get confused about so much shit. Um, and right now, Tokikaze's motivations are really stuck in my craw. It's just, I don't understand what he's after here. So, okay, Tokikaze has a two-fang motivation, right? One is to protect his kids, and the other is for Licht to save him, as we see. Like, fucking... Yeah. He says... Where was, where's the page at? Uh, where is it? Where he goes, the cure, right, here. Yeah, where, what page is that? I can't find it. Uh, oh, there it is. Right here. Uh, 54, yeah. 42. Um, so like, you want Rahito to save you. So that's his other motivation is he wants Rahito to save him. But like, what does that mean? Uh, How, like, okay. What, what, what is the end result of saving him look like? Like describe that for me. What's the, what's the end game here for that? Saving him, uh, from himself. Like, would saving him mean stopping him from killing Schmerman and everyone? Stopping him. Yeah, he, he wants to be stopped and he wants to just live. But that happily. conflicts with his first goal of making sure his kids are safe. Because if Schmerman's not dead, then his kids well, aren't if, safe. If Licht were there, he could help keep them safe. By continuing to kill Schmerman, thereby not stopping yeah, Tokikaze. Together. Or saving Tokikaze. Yes. I don't understand what the fuck his motivations are, what, what, or what even like he means by wanting Rihito to save him. What that would do, or what that would be like, or how that would conflict with his other fucking goals. I have no idea. Either. Yeah, like we're reading this manga, it all in one bunch, and I'm still so confused by shit. Like Toki Kaze's motivations don't make any fucking sense at this point. It reminds me of fucking Kylo Ren. 
Like, fucking Mueller's quote, like, he's the epitome of, like, tangled Christmas tree lights, where, like, you don't know what the fuck he's thinking or what his goals are or what he wants to do in any given scene. Yeah, that's fair. I don't get it. Um, and also, blah, 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 um, the fact that, like, the dr- Okay, so originally, I thought the drug meant to Kikatsu was, like, a mindless killing machine now. And then... Uh-huh. Uh, fucking uh, check off and teleport out of there again and then that means that Tokikaze has to fight Licht and they have a big battle scene but no he's under his control as a puppet what? yes how the fuck because does that that's work? because th- that's how it works now like at least previously the idea was like it was like bringing out the latent Lolicon genes inside of them so they became crazy yeah, the killing yeah intent, exactly yeah. but like now it's been retconned to be a mind control drug. Which is even dumber. Yes, yeah, somehow. Can you even believe it? See, it's okay, he's on the bad guys. Like, it's, it comes to a head in the next, like, you know, I don't mind him, like, you know, like, rah, at the end of the chapter. But then the next chapter, when he's, like, standing right next to Schmerman, and he's like, yes, master, I do what you say. It's, like, so fucking weird. Yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> Any other notes? Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, so that, unfortunately, boys and girls and everything in between, was the <laughs> final in English translation. <laughs> all all you nine, non-binaries out there and li- live in your crazy lives. You're valid. You're valid. Yeah. But yes, that, that was the... The final English translated chapter. Fallen Angel scans have said that the next one should be out in a week or two. They said that two weeks ago. <laughs> and they said they said it again in December. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know when we're going to get chapter 55. So to translate what the translation people are saying, it's fucking, we have no clue what the next chapter is going to be. More or less, yeah. <laughs> They, they said it's in quality check phase, so, you know, eventually we'll get there. Mm-hmm. But for now, that's the last thing we have. Duh. So we could end here. Shame. Or we can try and read 54 and dub what stupid shit they might be saying over it. You mean 55? Whatever. But yes, I... If that is what you would like to do, I would not. I think that could be fun. I don't know. I I think it'll be entirely. Different. I think the fun of that chapter. Will, my, my problem. My, my worry with that is like that we will not be able to write as badly as Minazuki would just naturally. Like again, we might start accidentally injecting logical shit and good writing into it by mistake, and so it might not be as funny as it would be just waiting for the chapter to be translated properly. Um. But it's possible he gets some like good improv comedy going on with random bullshit. Or it's possible we I just don't think trying. of any jokes and we end in five minutes just because we couldn't think of anything interesting to say. I mean, it's worth a try. Yeah, right? I figured we'd give it a shot. It, fair warning, this might suck and we have no idea how it's going to come out. We've not rehearsed any of this. Probably will suck. Probably will. Oh, well. So let's move on. To chapter 55, which is still written in moon language. Yes. So how do you want to, like, read this? Should we, like, take turns, or do you want to just interject whenever the one person has something funny to say, or what? <coughs> yeah, I suppose the latter, because I don't, I don't know how the former would Fair work. Fair enough. Okay. So we cut over to Chemical Plant Zone. Um <laughs> It's back! I forgot about the show. It's back! As we, as we see the literal chemicals floating in the fucking pods. Yeah. Uh, what I love is that the clones are looking on this in, like, horror. So I assume, like, the black chemical means that, like, the pods have been dismantled or they don't work or some shit. They've, they've been turned off, yeah. I, I know that much. Have they been turned off? Then why is there still, like, bubbles in them? Yeah. Well, what, 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 my point is that they're, I don't know, they're deactivated, though. So so when earlier, when you were, like, Schmerman grounded them from it, it you were right. Yes. That is literally. They've been happened. literally grounded yes. from using recovery pods, except the fact that he did let them use recovery pods because all of them are fucking better. 
No, that that that's just what it takes. They were given the magic bandages probably off screen. <laughs> like, okay, we're gonna prep you for the pods by yeah. first placing you in the magic bandages, <laughs> which fucking <yeah. laughs> He's like, I'm afraid I'm demoting you back to the magic bandages quote. <laughs> They're like, no, that takes at least three pages to recover. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> So Schmerman <laughs> appears behind them and fucking and he's like, yes, you've all been grounded from using the magic recovery pods. And goddamn, there's so goddamn many of these. And we're like, hey, guys, the supplies are fucking limited. I got like a hundred of them. Yeah, what the fuck? And Schmerman, all he has to do is well, decide to flip bad. them back on and then fucking the stakes disappear again. I forgot the last time we did the, the darts voice for sure. <laughs> I just saw well, to turn them off. What? I can't, I can't, I still can't do it. Quan <laughs> Chowen, I'm afraid I am grounding you <laughs> from the recovery pods. Grounding? Fucking. Wound me. Yo, ground it. Ground it. <laughs> <laughs> Until y'all can bring me back where he told where he told y'all cannot saw. lose the recovery. <laughs> the recovery pods are prohibited. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys did so piss poor in your last performance, man. Yeah, well, I decided to take it away from you. Uh, you guys, you, you guys, battle suck shit. Like, like it was worse than three hundred. That one movie I hate. <laughs> I don't know what other context is three. Why? This random three hundred could be in here for besides that. Oh, that's what you said. Yes. It's probably just bringing up 300 years. Oh, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In in 300 years, <laughs> fucking you guys have been the only ones <laughs> gracious enough to use the clone, the helium pods, but no longer, man. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, no, wait, father, please. You have to let us use the bullshit nano healing. Oh, don't you worry. I found a new white hair man. <laughs> Come on, Toki Gazi! Toki Quasi! Toki Quasi! And Toki Kaze appears and he's taking orders from Sherman now. Um, also, his coat is ruined. He really needs to get some kids ASAP to like fix that up for him. Yeah. Like It's so dirty and destroyed at this point. He needs to get into a tailor really fast. And they're like, Toki Kaze <laughs> as they fucking shit themselves because he's going to kill them presumably and then he's like yes master I obey they're like the fuck the fuck is happening right now and he drops his sword <laughs> fucking wait or no he drops his sword and hilt like is this hilt like attached to his yes. belt no he's holding it in his other hand but it's so why would he be doing that why wouldn't it just be attached to his belt like usual because he needed to drop them both. Okay, sure. Uh, and he goes up to me. This is the weird thing, right? Like, he has enough self-awareness to be like, oh my god, it's the clones. Like, so he's not, like, totally blind to the world. But he just is fucking takes yeah. orders from Schmerman now. He thinks they're the real Class A, yes. I don't get oh, it. Oh, my friend. How much awareness does Tokikaze have right now? Not enough to know he's in a shit manga. Apparently not. It's like, oh my god, I thought you guys died and killed yourselves for me. I'm so, I hate you guys so much. You left me alone for 300 years, you fucking assholes. <laughs> and the club's just like, oh. <laughs> I love Ichinose's face here. Like, what the fuck is up with this guy? Yeah, right? As you can see, I have brainwashed him to serve only me. <laughs> <laughs> Toki Quase will only be working for us now, mate. <laughs> so if you want to use your recovery pods again, you will work with Toki Quase to take revenge on what he told. <laughs> <laughs> also, what, what the fuck's his name? Genji, the guy who protects her, I'm sure is feeling left out by this fucking panel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because he's hugging yeah. her. <laughs> so he's doing the all, like, all protect you thing. Yeah. You think Toki Gaza's like inky black aura is getting your clothes dirty? 
<laughs> that that's why his jacket's all yeah black. exactly yeah <laughs> he's just spraying dirt at her he goes like <laughs> this is this is the new power i have awakened <laughs> earth I'm bending my couch. <laughs> and then the, speaking, speaking of, of earth yes you ruined i was going to say that you ruined my fucking <laughs> great transition you piece of shit yeah so, speaking so of earth bending <laughs> Sand. <laughs> I hate it. It's so coarse and rough and gets everywhere. <laughs> so Hina looks around. And she's like, uh, "Yes, yeah, sand is great and all, but why the fuck did you take me to the middle of a desert? Why the fuck are they in the middle of a desert? Where the fuck did that come from? I'd like to come here to think sometimes. <laughs> 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 the sifting sand reminds me of the time that I've lost. <laughs> and then there's just a random earpiece in the sand. I guess it's Tokikaze's? Oh, yeah. No, wait, I'm going to go check if he... Yeah, it's out of his ear. Oh, is it really? That's funny. So, yeah, that's... But wait, yeah, why the fuck was this fucking ear. thing so, just so in the desert? Tokikaze was in the desert! Tokikaze went through the desert! <laughs> wait, I don't understand. Like, why would it be here? Why would he have gone wait, through wait, here? Wait, 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 wait a second. Tokikaze had an earpiece. Yeah. Why didn't he just talk to him with the walkie-talkie? That's, yes, yeah, fair. Oh, uh, yeah. She didn't even need his Skype powers. That's true. We have seen fucking Aaron talk to him with a walkie-talkie <laughs> before now. Yes, you're right. I think that's what's happening here right now, too. I think that's, that's like Aaron or, or Jail or someone yelling through it. I guess. Why the fuck are they here? Do they come here looking for this? I don't know. Why the fuck is there a desert in Alsia, a like fucking manufactured Sand. paradise? I don't know because the anime included it. So we, so now Hina can be like, I remember when I walked through this entire desert looking for you. Lick. <laughs> I almost died several times, if only. Fucking. So yeah, they just they <laughs> randomly find the earpiece sitting here, which hasn't been buried or anything since it's fell <clears> off, I guess, whatever. Um, you know, deserts famous for the fact that like nothing ever moves in them. Um Yeah. Anyway, so they look over to they look over down at it, and then they just fucking reappear at the cart horse wagon in the middle of a fucking foggy forest. Where the fuck is anything? How does any space look <clears throat> to any other space in this fucking manga? They were in a desert for like a a page and then they're they're back and it's fine. Remember that time we got a map of Alsea and it had like two towns on it? Yeah. It's like a fucking video game where you walk for two minutes and there's a whole different biome over there. Um, Anyway, so they have a big group meeting and then Jail's like, hey, Gispensed, fucking good job betraying all of us. And he's like, well, you know, I didn't get the sword back for you guys. And then we cut awkwardly to Tokikaze <laughs> sitting Joke in a fucking Kaze. room, the cafeteria, Joke. making fucking jelly donuts for them. And he's like, here, you jelly like, donuts, your yeah, favorite. He, 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 he parrots Pele in this scene, which is why we cut from Pele to him. And he goes, you like rice. Right? <laughs> yeah. And, and, they all look, and they all look back at him after living in a test tube for 300 years. And what go, the fuck is rice? What the fuck is yeah. rice? <laughs> <laughs> I love how sad he looks as they reject him. <laughs> uh, He's like, oh, guess I better kill myself. If only. Fucking, you guys liked rice, right? So the clones playing along with his act, or like, does it even matter I, I, if they I do? Think Is he aware enough to realize? Does he even comprehend what they're from saying? The lo- from the looks of it, they're too afraid, like, not to go along with it. But like, it's very awkward for them. Clearly, yes. Yeah. I guess. Anyway, so he hands her rice balls, and he's sad. So I guess, like, somewhere deep down, he knows that they're clones. Is that what this is supposed to imply? Or. or- I don't know if it's that he knows or it's that like the, the only other option is that he said that they rejected his rice balls, which is dumb. So I'm assuming the point of this, oh, this panel is to be like some part of him is aware that this is all an act, but he's like allowing himself to believe it or something because of the drugs, I guess. Or 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 just because like even a facade is better than like the reality. I guess. Fucking fucking Kaiki would have some that's, words. That's with too you. smart. 
<laughs> you don't even get that joke. Fuck off. I can still laugh. No, you can't. I don't even know, get the joke. <laughs> anyway, guys, so we get to a big dialogue scene. I have no idea what the fuck anyone's saying here. Uh, well, we see. Oh, they, well, clearly they're talking about the perfect family. Right, yeah. We see them. <laughs> like, hey, yeah. hey, hey, Lynn, don't you think it's weird that everyone in this world's either like perfect or an asshole? She's like, yeah, I have noticed that. Like, everyone in my bullshit, like, vertical town was really nice, but like, so many people I've met since have been assholes. It's so weird. And jail appears. It's, like, and then jail you think you've it's seen because assholes. they don't have conviction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the difference between the two is conviction, of course. Fuck it. <laughs> and then I guess he gets all judgmental about Pele for betraying them. But then he's like, no, I still follow you, Commander Jail, or whatever the fuck. Because you gave me conviction. Uh-huh. He's like, number 20. What's 20 in the context of this scene? <laughs> My ballot's number. Uh, I have 20. Yeah. Or like, for 20 years, I've been at your service for... No, he's like fucking like 19 no. or some bullshit. No, yeah, I guess no, he's he, been no. alive forever, so... I have only betrayed you a total of 20 times. <laughs> I swear I won't do it again. <laughs> Did that, the last time was the last one. Uh-huh. I'm saluting you. I pledge my allegiance to the flag of the United yes. States of jail. <laughs> <laughs> I pledge my allegiance to the fucking stupid flag of Alsia with the fucking lions and scale on it. <laughs> oh, and then I recognize 5,010 and then there's another number. Where was it? There's all moon characters. I can't. Oh, there's a one over here, too. So I don't know what the fuck they're talking about, but numbers seem to be involved. This conversation is ruled by numbers. Yeah. <laughs> he, no, he's giving an attack plan strategy. <laughs> okay, so first we fight five enemy number 5,000, then we go to 10, and then one, and then we're done. It's like, the, the Licht came up with an ingenious plan of strategy when he was fighting the clones. So I say, when we bust in to take on Schmerman, 5,000, 10, 10, 1. 12, 4. She won. <laughs> and Nana's like, what the That's fuck? That's so stupid. <laughs> what does any of this mean? Yeah. And Jill goes, That's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is the greatest attack strategy I've ever heard. Exactly, which is why I'm going I'm to go attack I, the fortress I'm, soon. And then fucking Nana gets scared <laughs> about that. Like, Jill's going to go attack the fortress. Uh, and then Pele's like, don't worry, I can help. See, I'm still faster than Rahito Bach, <laughs> apparently. Yeah. Just like Lin and everyone else in this fucking moment, I guess. <laughs> and then Doan goes, you know, <laughs> Lick's power isn't that great when you consider nearly all of the other barons are hard counters. Yes. <laughs> no, don't you have to, didn't any of you guys ever think like my gravity stops him? You can read his mind. Sonohara's attacks will follow him forever. It's kind of like he got the shit end of the stick. But somehow he's still the main character, so it doesn't matter. Maybe, maybe his real power is plot armor, and then the rest of it's just like a bonus. <laughs> maybe that's no, why I'm he has the good sure. defense. <laughs> that's why Hina is, is saluting there because she's like plot armor is my thing too <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not fair Hina you, you, you only get stabbed and get better immediately whereas I break my arm for like a chapter or two is her arm better by the way we, is it still in the splint have we seen that it's, it's still bad is it okay cool uh, yeah. <laughs> like why can't I have the same level of plot armor that you have dumb bitch <laughs> and then Jill's like it's true we do all have plot armor it'll be necessary for the coming battle Joe, Jill, <laughs> Jill, Jill fucking corrects her he's like well maybe if you didn't want to break your arm you should have a little more conviction Lynn <laughs> <laughs> the conviction, also, conviction jokes are my favorite running gags it's so goddamn funny me, me too <laughs> and then Pele's like speaking of we may not have as much conviction as you jail but we managed to find something else to number 20 <laughs> we found 20 earpieces yeah 
<laughs> and licked being licked just drops it. He's like, earpiece. <laughs> I guess Nana can have it. Fuck it. I don't want it. You carry it for me. <laughs> Get the sand out of it for me. <laughs> I hate sand. <laughs> so now she's got the earpiece and different scene. And now she's sitting here alone getting drunk again. And from her infinite supply of wine, which she should have just drained by this point. Uh, well, this time she she pours the rest out. She she doesn't just drink her problems away entirely. Mm-hmm. And then her earpiece goes fucking. Well, what like ringtone do you think the earpiece has? Because I'm, I'm imagining like, the Kim Possible like dun 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 dun, dun fucking like communicator. Well, ha- it's to- it's Toki it's Toki Kaze's, so it's probably like Lincoln Park. Or <laughs> Crawling in my skin. Crawling in my skin. I mean, I got to turn this off where it wakes everyone up with this edge. Fucking. <laughs> And then JL <laughs> talks to her like, Nana, are you there? I'm looking very sexy right now. If you want to come do something about it. <laughs> do you want to take a guess what I'm wearing? <laughs> Fucking nothing. <laughs> uh, and then Nana says like, oh, man, like, I'd love to. But like you crush on other people, right? I, I'm the only one who doesn't have a love interest. And she's like, no, Nana, you can have a love interest with me. She's like, ah, oh, a love interest with you, ruled by numbers. Um, and he's like, I'm going to go attack fucking Mini Schmerman's Fort tomorrow. It has thousands of soldiers, and I've got a account with a number one on it. So it's probably a suicide mission, unless they're susceptible to headbutts. For butts. them, yeah. that is, because I have conviction. And headbutts. <laughs> uh, so I just wanted to let you know before I go, I really love you, Nana. <laughs> Like, my father always said I should be honest with the girls I see, not lead them on. Fucking, uh, goodbye, Nana. And she goes, and I guess she, like, tries to, like, play it off like it's, like, a comedy thing, where then she's, like, crying, like, oh, jail. And he goes, oh, like, I have women. <laughs> 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 That's so much better than what I was going to say. Just like women, just like hangs at the fucking phone. <laughs> <laughs> she starts crying. I, I was going to make his last line like, "Don't worry, have conviction that I'll survive," and hangs at the fucking phone. But now, like, oh, women, it's so much funnier. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches, am I right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then Nana's crying. And she's like, what, what am I going to do? There's absolutely nothing that could make this situation better. And a and horse. From behind. A horse. And the horse goes, think again. <laughs> <laughs> I want to point out, like, this is an insanely well-drawn horse. Like, it, it, I have seen less detailed horses in bestiality horse rape dosions. Like, I swear to Christ, things about to whip out its massive cock and try and fuck all the fucking female characters here. <laughs> this him. looks like a fucking dosion right now. <laughs> So Hina comes up and she's like, "We met- we pulled a horse out we- of hammer space for you. It's only got one head. It's only we- half as fast, though. We we got pretty hungry, so we had to eat the horse's other head <laughs> since we were running out of our infinite supply of food. <laughs> but we thought this one would be enough for you. Mm-hmm. See, we realized something, Nana. You don't really contribute anything to any fights <laughs> or any comedy chapters. So we're gonna ride you off on the horse and just have you go join Jail's crew." It's like, so what do you think? She's like, guys, you're yeah. giving me a ch- my character a chance to be relevant. I'm so thankful. Yeah, and fucking like rides off on the horse. Yeah. Like, yeah, like she, come back. She, I, 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 <laughs> and I think it works even better because Lynn like smacks the horse to get it moving. Yeah, like, get the so fuck like, out of here. Fuck yeah. Out. Piss off. <laughs> None of us like you. Yeah. <laughs> come back home with a breeding pair. Oh, uh, it's so funny. <laughs> you never use your bullshit time travel powers for anything. Just get the fuck out of the story already. Yeah. 
should have just fucking saw the future and told us that Chekhov was conning us, bitch. Yeah, or fucking any of this bullshit. Like, I'm sure she's future right now. Like, you know, if, if she had checked the future before Tokikaze had gone insane, then she could have made efforts to, like, find him and, like, stop that from happening. Like, there's so many future plot points she could have fucking prevented by checking the future, but she just doesn't ever. Why don't you go and tell us if you have a future with jail, you skank? Yeah, she could also do that if she's so fucking concerned about a fucking husband or whatever the fuck. Check the future and see if she ends up married at any yeah. point. <laughs> so she rides off on the horse and she cries. And she remembers the, the five <laughs> seconds she spent with jail previously during when she was the exposition right. machine. Well, you know what? He's the only one that's been nice to me on all you guys, so I'm leaving anyway. <laughs> As she rides off into the forest. And that's the end of the volume. Mm -hmm. There you go. That was actually pretty fun. That was pretty fun. I liked that. I, I don't think it would work for like an entire, <laughs> like I was tempted to like do like just, because we've got the next volume worth of chapters out. I was tempted to like have the entire next stream be that, but I thought it'd be better just be, have it be a one-off joke here. Yeah. Unless it like takes super duper long. Yeah. And like, honestly, there's shit next volume I want translated so we can properly make fun of it. Oh yeah, dude! I'm so excited when we get to the chair. Yes, the chair oh battle God. scene. Like fucking, if you guys haven't read the next couple chapters yet, I swear to Christ, minazuki has been watching these and is now tailoring the story to our in jokes because fucking Mini Schmerman is a fight <laughs> scene all the while sitting in his fucking armchair. Like he makes his <laughs> chair float into the battlefield and he has a fight scene with Jail while never moving his fucking chair. It's so funny. It's incredible. Anyway, so that was volume whatever the fuck. So, what'd you think? Uh, I mean, I had a blast. The, the content itself was pretty fucking shit. Yes. But this was fun as hell. <laughs> well, that's not new, is it? <laughs> Why no, the fuck were they not. in a desert? Because <laughs> they needed to find Tokikaze's ear. Why couldn't it just be sitting on the, the ground desert? like a, the forest where he was at? Because we needed to see a, the desert. I honest, I really want the translation for this page. I need to know what the explanation is for them being in a fucking desert. If, if there even is one. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, I don't know how to ride a horse. <laughs> see, what we know from future chapters, like, Jail goes off to fight Minnie Schmerman. Um, so presumably at some point Nana is going to save him? How? Uh, well, I mean, you've read the chapters. Well, right? she doesn't appear in them, though. She shows up in the first one. Does she? And that's about it. She's she's just moral support, essentially. Oh, okay. That's fucking... I, I didn't even remember she was there, because fucking... Don't, don't think a fangus show up for her, or... The, the Gefangus come save her and then Jail shows up and they have a moment. I think I'll look at that. I don't even remember they that kiss. bullshit. They kiss and everything. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. I guess, yeah, I guess she's more yeah. supports. What the fuck was the point of all this crap? So, so he could go and they could form the final breeding pair. I guess. And so Ikaros could be like, hey, you're crushing on my commander. Oh, yeah. Oh god, and fucking like weird lowly with like the orange hair and the fucking purple tips gets fucking raped next chapter too. That'll be fun. Woo! Can't wait. Mm -hmm. Cannot wait. God, there's so much more shit to get through, but now we're like the thing stopping us is translations. It's sad, isn't it? It is sad. So this is like the last so plum digi boob club for a while. Yeah. And, until fucking the scan ladies get their act together and do shit. Yeah, what, it's just going to have to be one at a time from here on out whenever a new chapter drops. Well, that's if they don't drop all the chapters at once, which they might. Sometimes they sometimes they do do multiple chapters at that once. That would be nice. It isn't super common. It would be nice, but don't get your hopes Everyone, up. Everyone, like, if you go to Fallen Angels' website, they have like a donate a PayPal donation thing on the front. Everyone should go donate to them and say that they have like, Plunderer the most, and so they fucking translate Plunderer already. Yeah, they have the ability, uh, if you donate to them, to, like, say what your favorite series is. I'm not saying that you have to mm -hmm. or anything, but, like, you know, it might help get these out faster if this is something that you really care about. Right. But it's up to you. Yeah, fuck, I'll donate ten bucks right now. 
Ah, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll donate like 30 or 50 or something. Translate plunderer, you assholes. Plunderer, it's so bad, I need more. Boo, 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 boo. Donate now. We're getting live fucking charity happening on the stream right now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Security <laughs> challenge. Yes, PayPal, I'm not a robot. At least not as far as you're aware. But uh Bleh. <laughs> what the fuck is this like old ass PayPal bullshit? This PayPal looks like it's from like 20 years did. ago. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're right. Right? That's yeah. What you mean now? This is weird. It is weird. <clears throat> Password. That. That. Accept. Continue. God, why is it so old? Security challenge. What the fuck? Could you, you guys could not have made donating to you any more difficult than you did. Like, I expected to be able to go like, okay, guys, look, we did it on stream. It was that easy and that fast. No, it was a huge pain in the ass, actually. Well, I just did mine. Oh, my God. To I did mine faster than yours. Apparently. I, well, I, I tried 50. to do it, but like, fucking, they need my phone number specifically. I gave them, you can, in fact, if you look on their page, you see that they just jumped from 25 to 70. Oh, nice. Was that all you yep. or did someone else donate as well? That was all me. Nice. So if, if you, if you give them that 10, they'll have hit their 80 taller target. Awesome. Boo, 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 boo. Sorry. Fucking thing is bullshit. Okay, now that's all the information entered correctly. The first of the shitty, like, you're not a robot challenges, which leads to the second of the shitty, you're not a robot challenges. Oh, you got two of them? Oh my god, what the fuck? It keeps fucking declining. Like, you messed up some information. Your phone number wasn't written with dashes in between the numbers. Fuck you and your bullshit. Tell me that before I have to do the stupid security question on the next page. If. Okay. We good? Should be good. We're loading, loading. God it? fucking damn it. What the fuck? It keeps saying incorrect because of like telephone number. I promise you I'm entering my telephone number correctly. With your stupid format and everything. Wait, did did you? Are you trying to fill out the form, or did you click the already have an account? Oh, I guess yeah, I should do that. I didn't even see it. that. You're right. Yeah, that's 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 what I. Okay, did. that's why you did it so much faster than me. Yeah. Sorry, we're on this is such an old version of PayPal. I didn't even associate it with like being able to connect to the modern one that I actually use. <laughs> Everything's broken. God damn it, you guys could not have made this any more difficult. Like, I... Eh. Come on. Come on. You got this. <laughs> uh, they have their email and thing. Can I just send it, it to them, like, normally, through, like, normal PayPal? No, you have to do it this way, because otherwise... Show up on the work. counter? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. We need to raise their count. <laughs> Someone had to That's say That's fair. Okay, so I got myself to log in, but now it's, like, ticking me away from the fucking page. So I have to go back to Angel Scans. This is so much fun. Welcome to the fucking, like, entering credit card information section of the fucking terrible podcast we do, apparently. Yes. Fallen Angels, translator of manga. I hate you guys' website so fucking much. Make this shit easier. Plunderer sucks. I need more of it. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, I think it's taking me directly to like future PayPal. Okay, cool, it did. Okay. Yay. Next. Loading, loading, loading. The future is now, old man. Donating. We're doing it. Yes, okay, it's going. Yeah! $10 donation! Fucking finally. God, that took forever. Yay. Okay, well, if you want to do that, don't be like me and yeah, ignore yeah, the fucking login button. The page. It updated on the page. They have now reached their $80 target. For what? <laughs> That's so funny. Whatever, we gave them money, so now they have to translate plunder, right? Fingers crossed. Everyone, please go give them money, even with their stupid bullshit PayPal thing, just so that we can like continue reading <laughs> this terrible fucking manga together every week. It's fun. I don't want these good times to go it away. It is fun. I mean, eventually it will, regardless of what we do. But I mean, like, you know. No, I don't want that to happen. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sure Minazuki's next manga will be even shittier somehow. Do you think it will, or do you I think don't it's going to be a step up? I don't know. It's impossible to say. Uh, I, got, I mean, this goes I, I back to, like, is he intentionally writing terribly, or is he just, like, trying to pander as hard as he can to whatever his current target audience is? Like, if it's the latter, then his next series could potentially be good if he, like, doesn't care about being edgy and shitty constantly. But, like, if he is just terrible, then, like, it's entirely possible the next one will be just as bad, if not worse. Oh, I don't want to think about the worse. Here is... Her, I mean, I do, because it's be fucking hysterical. You get angry? <laughs> Fair. <laughs> yeah. Imagine how much content we would get out of that. It'd be great. Anyways, I believe that's about <clears throat> it. And surprisingly, we wrapped it up yeah. sub four hours. What the fuck? Well, I mean, that's because we didn't have a whole other chapter. That's read. true. Yeah, we sort of like we, skimmed over it. We, we abridged the last chapter very literally. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, well, this manga is fucking crap. Uh, I, I didn't say it once this stream, but I hate this fucking manga, Isaiah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if you do. <laughs> yeah, I've been super subtle about I, it up until now. I, I don't know. I, I feel like you're, you're the little hole in your heart is certain to be filled with plunder. <laughs> with the hatred of plunder, yes. Forever plunder. Forever plunder. But -da 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 -da. Bullshit Japanese lyrics. <laughs> Forever plunder. Ching chong, ching chong, bing bong, bing bong. There, there goes some follower somewhere. Oh, well. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you, Isaiah, once again for being here and reading this bullshit with me. It was a pleasure. Absolutely. And I will see you guys next time. Later.